Episode 71. How's everybody doing tonight? Mm-hmm. Hey, we're live with Joe, Corey, and Kayla. How about that? Thanks for tuning in. We're going to have a fun night tonight. And they want to have and a fun night to, right they now. They want to bug me right now. <laughs> Who's this? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I call this number for uh, Otoya Organics. Okay. Is that who you are? That's who we are. Okay, well, I'm having problems with placing an order. All right, what's happening? Well, it doesn't give me a place where I can put my credit card or anything in. It keeps coming up. Oh, you know what? Give me a moment. It's Thursday, isn't it? (laughs) Every Thursday, our our website resets. So give us about three minutes, and you'll be able to buy. Okay, yeah, because I've, you know, been... I've done you know, a few orders before, and I never had a problem. So. Yeah, you like our stuff. Huh? You like our stuff? Yep. yep. You, we have our sh- live shows tonight at on YouTube, Utoy Organics. If you want to tune in and watch, you might win something. Okay. All right. So <laughs> you try again in a couple That's minutes. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, brother. Thanks. See, we'll never turn away a customer. Never, never turn away a phone call. Well, every Thursday, for some reason, my website's about 345. I have to send you a code. Uh, And then we have to reset it every week, like clockwork. So there we go. It's reset. You would almost think that was set up, but that was not set up. That was very organic. You know? 
I yeah. can do the other one. That's right. <laughs> So excuse the interruption, but we have to make sure our customers can buy online. So Joe's almost done. That's right. There we go. And you gave them their squeaky monkey? Is that what you gave them? I gave them, I bought some tennis balls. Oh, you did? They destroyed (laughs) them. Oh, I bought bought my cat the squeaky monkey. Oh, you did? You got that squeaky monkey? Yeah, yeah right. we should have them on a, All right, Joe, let's see what we're doing. We're back. Yeah, we're, we're, we're there. We're here. We're back. We're with it. So welcome. No we got the regulars here. Good to see everybody. And we got a, a new treat, man. We got something, something new on the Let's plate. Let's name those regulars. Let's do a trivia for us. Uh, <laughs> name those regulars. Well, <laughs> I remember one. One was named like. Well, Commerce was fine over here. That's was it? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. It's the only one. I'm trying We're to remember just, some of them myself. I know. We're just pick cake or something. Pick cake was really one of them. Random. Really? I think pick cake was one of them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's hard to forget. <laughs> that. Let's see. Um, they were well, I guess our audio sounds good, good tonight, so that's good. I that's that's great. Sean, don't yeah. confirm. <laughs> and uh, we got them hooked up, so they make an order. And the first thing on our plate tonight is every Thursday. I always reset. 4.20 on the dot p.m. I always reset a.m. 2. That's <laughs> what we do on Thursday. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right <about yourself>. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> I don't know. It's what the site does. Yeah, there we go. We now do. we're all set. So we got a nice little group coming in today. Thanks for joining. We had to get the websites back up and running for our customers calling. We got uh, anybody call in anytime and give us a chat. We got some new stuff uh, coming up. You know who likes pina coladas, don't you? Other than everybody. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like pina coladas? <laughs> well, you got with some dank. <laughs> we got I'm not much into yoga though. <laughs> <laughs> we got yeah. strawberry pina coladas. Strawberry. Strawberry. Now, these are real strawberries. This is an organic, as like my lemonade. And uh, we're going to let the kids taste this here. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's got a great color, a great that, look. Check that out, Kayla. Nice and creamy. See the, you see the strawberries in there? Little pieces of strawberries. Yeah, it's running on there. the close-up cam down here. Oh, does this one work? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong one, Joe. Yep. <laughs> See a little strawberry chunks in there? Mm-hmm. I found the best fucking formula, man. No. You won't believe how good this shit is. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. He's about to believe it. Mm. <laughs> now it's sweet, but if you like pina coladas, that's what it is. It's sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Bruce, you know how I'm not really much into uh, the marijuanas, you know, at least as of yet, but... um. I did have a sip of that earlier, and uh, you might have changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight, if you're a VIP member... I don't think it's too sweet at all. Oh, it tastes perfect. good, isn't it? And Lolo, too, I think you just became a, a VIP. Congratulations. Thanks for joining up. Yeah, so if you make an order tonight, say, I want some pina coladas. Getting high in the rain. <laughs> oh, you've got your drink. <laughs> this is really good, though. I'll it's amazing. That. <laughs> that you cannot taste any. No. No. You would never be able to tell that was infused. Karen, we're also making the yeah. um, strawberry daiquiris with the new formula, this higher-end uh, organic form. Oh, that's a new this Okay, is I'm going to it, I think. Because we um, oh, we I knew it. we were going to say something about well, it. Well, we're going to take a commercial break here in a minute, and then we'll get another glass, and I want to try this. Now, this is the new strawberry daiquiri. Okay. It's so new. This is pina colada. So you mm. can. Oh, and that that's strawberry pina colada, really, though, the flavor on that is just something else. Mm. Something like that scares me in the best ways because it's so delicious. Right. You don't taste you gotta, any you of gotta, it. You, you know, taste yourself, I'm sure. Oh, you yeah. know, you got to know your limits. Oh, yeah. If you don't know your limits, yeah. start slow, keep low, um, find your happy really uh, good. It's like altitude. dessert. It's like dessert. It really mm-hmm. is. You put that in a fucking blender. Very satisfying. Huh? You, oh my god! I am like make a slushy out of this fucking thing. You know, at Isla Mirada in the Keys is where they came up with uh, rum runners, and it's basically a slurpee made with rum, and then they put a shot of one fifty one on top. <laughs> oh, 
See, Ooh, I, back I, in I the nineties and eighties, man, we spent some time. The pool bar goes. You sit in the pool and you're at the bar. Oh yeah, poolside bars. Those yeah. are cool. I've never, I've never gone one. I just seen them and think, man, that'd be really nice. And then I leave. <laughs> you want to just... go for one more, uh, one more sip of it? Yeah, yeah. And Joe, if you could in the post edit, just zoom into my face for a sec. Um, Sean, <laughs> post edit. Hold on. <laughs> one sec. <laughs> So good. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the new ad for the <laughs> That is absolutely amazing. Corey approves. Yeah. Yes. Mm. No, but I'm on that time of the month, and like that seriously satisfies like it's very delicious. Like I don't mm -hmm. think it's too sweet or anything. Yeah. You know, like I would that. take that drink, and I would make a vanilla cake. Quality. I would take a vanilla yeah, cake. Yeah, totally. Like infuse the vanilla vibes. cake that with the drink. Oh Killer. God. Top that with some strawberries or some cheesecake. R.I.P. That's <laughs> like dessert before dinner. There we go. D just know your sales are going to be going up because I'm going to personally be buying no, a lot. Like, <laughs> it's like it like feels good. Like, mm -hmm. I like it. it. Yeah, it's got such a nice texture inside mm -hmm. of that. What, what's the word that they use? A, a exquisite mouth feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ASMR Utoya coming up. Oh, let me check for you, Buckets. <laughs> I don't remember. What's that? If he's still, um, if he's able to go back to the wheel of weed. Um, I don't know. Oh, you're really close. I think by the next show you'll be out. Ah, uh, you're the 28th, it looks like. Next show. Yep. Uh, not the next, next show, but the show after next, you'll be ready. Once he wins once, you always want to win, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Say it ain't so. I love one of the comments on there. It's say, you know, getting stoned in the rain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What are you guys smoking tonight? I got some sour lifter, freshly sprayed, a new batch. And, and yeah, yeah. What are you guys smoking on it? And also, I put out a post, and I know a lot Everybody, of you guys responded. Um, right. <laughs> I want to see in chat if you could combine any two strains, any two strains, put them together. What would you What would you put together? And what would you call it? Yeah, I like that. That was a cute uh, thing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, what I was out, yours? Uh, mine was Skywalker OG and Death Star, and I would call that Lord Vader OG. <laughs> see, I would. I was smoking. Yes, let's see. those are two really good ones. <laughs> they too. are strong. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, let's see. That's sour like Jack. what I would do if I wasn't going to. That's it. Like Michael a, uh, Michael Jones loves that Sour Jack that he got for his prize. Yeah, I'm and glad he won. It. Yeah, I'm glad he won. The next thing we want to talk about yeah. is these two grand vapes, man. These bad what did you bring? Right here. I brought a banana OG because that flavor has been killing it across the board, and I actually hadn't taken any time to. Well, we're gonna we're gonna bust one open, Joe. It's now what's cool about one. these new two grams, you can go online. There's fifty variations with five different formulas, ten different strains, and it's badass. So this one here is the Sierra. Right, yeah, Sierra. That's yeah. the formerly the elite, or still known as the elite. Right. But. So in our one gram disposables, this would be your elite. In our two gram, it's our Sierra, and it'll be. Oh, so it's just elite. Cascading. They'll all go to Sierra. And see, so you can save that box and put so all your roaches Sierra's in there. Too, like... <laughs> so we have nothing that's called. So elite Kayla, now. you're a vape expert. What do you think of this banana runs? The banana OG. Banana OG. Oh. Oh, G. <laughs> <laughs> Blueberry. Oh. G. Blueberry diesel and OG Kush is what um, uh, blue, you would put together? Blue Kush. Mm. Blue yeah, I'd take some blue <laughs> Kush. Uh, push blue. <laughs> Wait, what is this again? That's a banana OG. I don't really get banana. Banana, nana, oh, Jana. It's really nice. I haven't coughed yet, but it's not good banana. <laughs> well, it's good. It's a live resin <laughs> banana OG. Wow, it's, it's lovely, but it's not like overwhelmingly oh, like well, banana. Oh, well, it's not going to be it's like, uh, like your a, botanical it's style, like a, your candy terpenes. It's yeah, it's yeah, not it's like a, a nicotine a, banana flavor. Right, no, no, well, these are derived from uh, marijuana, and then they're, right. uh, they super, take super the THC nice. out. Like, I'm not even yeah, it came right from the banana scrub, OG which I never is, screw up a joint. Really cool. That's the first time I've ever seen that. How's it taste? Really good, but also like you don't get too like irritated in your lungs right off the bat. Oh man, that thing smooth as silk. 
Yeah, I, I think these that, two I think that's what overwhelmingly nice. like banana. I just saw that. I heard I that, that airflow. That's what I was going to feel when you said that. That airflow is really nice. It's a really nice see, this flavor. A, yeah, this has a dual. I love our stuff. It's so good. Dual <laughs> airflow. <I'm> like, <coughs> I cough a little. I like that gorilla glue and headband with gorilla head. I like that. I did um, I did a, uh, really cool. I did, uh, <coughs> I did Bruce head. Banner with uh, Bruce Banner with headband, and I called that the Hulkamaniac. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Hulkamaniac. Mm, that's nice. Sure, it's probably like a female brand of weed, and I call it She Hulk because that's a <laughs> show that just came out today. I think you get Wonder Woman and Bruce Banner. Oh, she Hulk, there, there we go. go. <laughs> Coming up with some <laughs> Marvel characters. There we go. <clears throat> Ooh, some blueberry diesel with some wedding cake. Blueberry cake. Blueberry cake. That is a well, I hope y'all are joining us as we partake. We partake a little early tonight. <laughs> yeah, we broke our rule already. Jeez. <laughs> Wait, what's our rule? Our rule was we don't get high till after the beer. <laughs> That's a stupid so, rule. We shouldn't we have already that broke rule. It. Like, yeah, because it's never supposed to be. So rolled. this is the Sierra. <laughs> the Sierra is uh, D8, HHC, THCO, THCP, CBD, CBG, CBN with... Cannabis Drive, live turf. Delicious. There it is. Oh, yeah. Look at those molecules from Sagittarius. <laughs> Observable. It's Observable. It's in my DNA, guys. Well, Joe, let's take a quick commercial. Back. We're going to come back with a little bit of magic <coughs> and a little bit of riddles. Corey, hey, hey. the Riddler, <coughs> Kayla. Slap. All right. Oh, All right. Where's the sign? One commercial or two? I did not. Oh, wait. Go ahead. Deep inside the music. You want to get high? <laughs> Toil! Yeah! Toil! Get to your Toya.com. Turn us like these vocals brought to you by Deep Inside the Music. Use code Deep Inside at Utoya.com during checkout to save 50%. Some restrictions may apply. See store for details. Meet Joe. He's outside for his bong smokes. Enjoying a little bit of that Utoya hot hand. Oh, there he goes. Say hi, Joe. Joe. Oh. He's found relaxation. Freedom. Expression, laughter, enjoyment, mm. flavor. Utoya's hot hemp. Order online now at utoya.com. Hot hemp. It's pretty damn good. Sponsored by Deep Inside the Music. Use promo code Deep Inside for fifty percent off. Some restrictions may apply. See website for details. All right. What's up, guys? We are back. This is Corey Van Dalen here. We got Kayla over here. I kind of felt a little left out when you guys were all smoking and token. I, I don't really get a chance to do that. I actually take cigarettes, and I don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> but Bruce, like I was saying, man, uh, I'm not a weed smoker. If I need three marijuanas, I'm terrible at magic. That's what I tell people. But uh, I am actually in love with those new strawberry pina coladas. That I. They're so good. Uh, and this is my first time smelling it, tasting it. I thought it'd be so cool to do a trick with them. Uh, we're actually gonna use right off the bat, we have a wine glass and a Van Valen Magic shot glass that we're gonna be giving away later on if you guys wanna join the uh, wheel of giveaways. <laughs> so we have a oh, shot glass and a wine bottle and two tubes. Now the goal is, we're gonna take tube number one, cover the shot glass. Tube number two, we're gonna cover... I forgot to mention that I brought a spare bottle it's all in just in case something breaks, you just never know. I'm yeah. Still gonna do it. Okay. We have a shot glass and a bottle of wine. Now all you do is say the word change and they'll change places. So Kayla, on the count of three, say the word change. One, two, three. Change. All right, let's give it a little look. It works. But now the hard part, hold your applause, the hard part is make them change back. So Kayla, on the count of three, say change back. Change. Did you say change three? back? Back. You notice. <laughs> It changed back. <laughs> now I should have mentioned this trick's a lot better once you've consumed the contents of the uh, of the pina colada. But I think if you're just a little bit high, I think that looks pretty cool. <laughs> well, hold it, because you gotta remember the best part again is to make it change back. Oh! Oh, hold your pause. We're gonna do it again. Happening? 
Tube number one goes over the bottle. Tube number two. I forgot to mention I brought an extra bottle. That's in case the other one broke. We're just gonna set that down. We're still gonna do it. We have the bottle and the shot glass. Oh, I just said the word change, and they change places. But of course, you can only. Of course, you can only do that with an extra bottle. <laughs> you know, we can actually take it another step further. We can actually do it with one tube. We take the tube, cover the bottle. The bottle becomes a glass, and it comes back to the bottle. Let's try it one more time. The glass becomes a bottle, then the bottle becomes the glass. Now, I thought we were gonna get really interesting. Kayla, there's actually a really cool drink in that drawer there. Could you grab that for me? This one? This one right here. <laughs> the, uh, the strawberry pina colada. You can even do it with a full glass of strawberry pina colada. Hope you guys can all see that at home. And again, all you do is you take the tube, you cover the glass, the glass becomes the bottle, then the bottle becomes the full glass of strawberry and dagger of pina colada. You can only do it with an extra bottle there, an extra bottle there. Don't worry about that. An extra bottle there, an extra bottle there. You have an extra bottle there, you have an extra bottle there. And that's just too many bottles. You'll be having fun this entire podcast. Oh, where do they go? Yeah, a little funsies. <laughs> So after all that, let's talk some riddles. <laughs> so I'm actually, I'm gonna pose this as a question, almost foreshadowing. I'm gonna ask you guys, and I want all your creative answers. There's actually no wrong answer. What is the commonality between a Rubik's cube and a penis? <laughs> in, the com in the comments, I'd like you to actually comment some really cool answers. But we're gonna go to some real riddles. I got them down right here. So right off the bat, Riddles. I travel all around the world, but I never leave the corner. What am I? The corner? So I'll say it again. I travel all around the world, but I never leave the corner. What am I? I feel like there could be some like all Japanese right. music. <laughs> there we go, yeah. <laughs> so what, what's, what's going through your head? What it goes all around the world, but it never leaves the corner. I don't know. What, Entrepreneur what? trait type of like, I don't know. Um, the corner. I'm trying to think. Let me see if I can give you a hint. Anyone giving any uh, good answers? It's a, pretty, it's a pretty good one. This is one we did before. I'll be surprised if they don't. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing, I'm seeing it right off the bat. Yeah. There it is. Like we did Michelle it got we it. Were on there. Michelle. Michelle. Before I was on, I think. And it's a stamp. A stamp is on the corner. Oh, 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 oh. Well, a lot of young people yeah. that never have married mailed anything. I have <laughs> yeah. people that work for me never mailed a letter. Yeah, before. you're not wrong. Actually, yeah. I cannot think the last time I mailed something. Oh yeah, I don't. I have one more riddle that goes hand in hand with that. Are you guys ready for it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What has only two words but thousands of letters? Again, what only has two words but thousands of letters? Cue the music, Joe. <laughs> Ray one. My brain is lost. So I'm gonna give you some, some clues. It's context in the last one. Two words but has thousands of letters that maybe travel all over the world. What travels all over the world again from the last one? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> oh no! Anyone give the answer? Don't tell me though. The post office. That's what, there you go. <laughs> the post Good job, Karen. It has two words, but thousands <laughs> of letters. Yeah, Probably goes. hundreds of thousands of letters. Play on words. Play on words. Good job, guys. All righty. See, you think too deep all the time. I'm like, See, I thought way too Who got deep. Put a little cheers, by the way. Cheers to the people at home. The first one got a Karen. I'm sure all right, time for the news. All right. <laughs> They've left the stage. Mm -hmm. Look at all those bottles. I like we're having a good time over there. All right. Good, good, good job. Over. Good job. <laughs> so everybody knows uh, Lake Mead. Lake Mead is running out of water. Mm. And what do they find when it's running out of that. water? Yeah. Should I know that? Where's that? Ve uh, Vegas, out in Nevada. Mm -hmm. oh, um, that's my well, hometown, so Nevada I know. Nevada is running out of water. That's like, old the news. And yeah. I guess we're finding yeah. all the mob secrets. <laughs> well, another set of human remains were discovered this week at Lake Mead. The enormous and once abundant reserve reservoir at the border of Nevada and Arizona where water levels have plummeted amid ongoing drought in the western U.S. 
Swim Beach, sometimes referred to as Boulder Swim Beach, is one of the Lake Mead's popular tourist destinations. Human remains have been discovered there multiple times since the spring, with the most recent uh, instance occurring just over a week ago at the time the NPS said human bones found in the Lake Swim Beach section could have belonged to another set of skeletal remains discovered at the end of July. So they've just in the last, since May, they found five different mm -hmm. remains. Mm -hmm. One was in a barrel. <laughs> that's typical. That's typical. That's mommy. Yeah, so that's, one well, that's typical. I watch all the murder shit of anybody in the planet. You know, for my age, I'm well, like, well on top. Well, of obviously, it. Lake Mead was a was a Just was a great murder. place. Yeah, so, great place to dump them on. Speaking of that area, uh, if you guys are watching at home, a cool place to check out off of Lake Mead is called Lake Powell. Yes. Yeah, you guys heard of it. Yeah. I remember, I'm from Florida, so my friend's like, oh, we're going to go to a lake out in New Mexico. And I'm thinking, flat lakes. No. Canyons, it felt very enchanting. And it's, yeah. you no. rent a boat for the day and you have a good time, glass of music. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, the whole Colorado River going the whole way down to uh, Lake Mead is just a gorgeous and old as hell river. You know, it's eaten through all the rocks all them years. And it's kind of like... Uh, uh, the Grand Canyon, you know? Yeah. Think how long the Snake River took to eat that all Yeah, up. all of those have bodies in them. Yeah. Because I mean, they're, they're a great place to decompose and, like, the people don't go so, there on the so, daily. Like, that's like what murderers do. Speaking of bodies. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. Deal with Trump it. Trump wants to <laughs> unseal the documents. I swear. He's swearing. I declassified them. They may be unsealed next week. Which is stirring up both oh, sides. I'm my dog now. But you know, it is kind of uh, uh, interesting how they treat him differently than other political criminals. But we want to know what charges are going to come out of this. Okay, so you can have a search warrant, but the uh, media is going to have a field day with this. Okay, one side's claiming, oh, he's going to jail. One side's like, it's just a political hack job for the midterm elections and based on the history they've had with Trump and uh, all his impeachments and his Russia, Russia, it wouldn't surprise me anything happens. So we'll wait next week, Thursday, they're going to see if they can declassify his warrant and we'll see if but that like, bitch is guilty or not. How is he being treated differently than other political criminals? Like that was well, they, they actually, statement to me. Well, like, they actually raided his house. They've never. Who, what other criminals are they not? They do, but they just well, are smart they, enough well, to hide them better, sense. probably. I mean, Hillary well, did, too, when she was going for well, president. Well, she admitted she... she yeah, but nothing it. came really of it. Why? Know, because, because she probably hit him better. Like, I'm just saying, if anything no, it's, comes it's, of this... It's, no, I'm serious. Well, maybe. They went in her house. The CDC it's gets an overall after major... I mean, major how they were like, well, because I'm Trump, I'm treated different. Like, no, no, it's not about, it's not same, about Trump. Who gives he, a fuck about Trump? What it's about is maybe. it's a uh, it gets political when one president political in the history in the history of the nation gets raided. Okay, there's been tons of criminal activity yes. by our presidents, tons. But so not now, proven as much because they're none are, so no, obvious. it's not it's not proven. Well, we'll see, right? We'll see. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The CDC to get over okay. all after. The CDC is to get overall after major public mistakes. So you talk about bullshit, right? So every yeah, you talk political, everybody goes off. But here's our CDC, right? Someone that's an entity for us, eleven thousand employees strong, and they're admitting now they made a shit ton of mistakes in this COVID bullshit. You know, even the six foot rule, they were talking about how that wasn't really valid and all this crap. So now after all this expense, all this. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of loss of money, of loss of jobs, loss of everything. They say, oh, sorry, we didn't do it too good. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you got some news too, don't you? Yeah, you know, um, this is interesting. I know we got some folks out in Pennsylvania who watch, and these little guys have been making their way around. Now, this is a spotted lantern fly, and they originate from out of Asia. And I had really no idea that this was going to be really much of an issue, right? Um, they don't look like much, but really they're coming by the thousands. And what I read about these guys is they entered in through PA from their normal Asian routes. And then they started spreading. And, and, and at first, Pennsylvania, the, the wildlife officials, they were like, 
all right, well, we'll be all right. You know, we don't need to worry about it. We'll be cool. Uh, it's It's been about maybe a month later, and now they're, like, checking the data every week um, just to try and keep up. And now they've spread all throughout the Midwest, and they're spreading across the U.S. And the reason I brought this story up is because this, this particular bug is really adept at eating just all kinds of plant life. So they're not dangerous to people, they're not dangerous to pets, but mm -hmm. agriculturally they are devastating. So if you see them, smack Swat them. them. <laughs> and I, I looked it up too, I was like, well, what are they good for? There's gotta be something that they're here for. And apparently- So what do they come? Um, they're la they're uh, spotted lantern Basically, flies. Basically, like well, you know, um, ladybugs. Yeah, back but in the 70s and 80s in Florida, bugs. they had a, uh, uh, a critter that was killing all the coconut trees. Oh, really? So they had to vaccinate all the coconut trees, and uh, they almost wiped them out. That's crazy. It is weird how uh, uh, animals can just come in and do that. Yeah, this thing can eat over 100 varieties, but what, a, what good thing it does is when it goes and lands on something and starts to eat, it secretes a sweet sap that attracts bees to go and pollinate. So there actually really is a benefit, but the problem is, is that they're they're going to nest in your car, they're going to nest in your engine, they're going to nest all over the street lamps. They're pests, but they well, do cool shit here and there. But right now, kill on sight. <laughs> they're kind of like those grain-eating amoebas that killed that little boy who oh died in, in the he's swimming in the lake because right. basically. The, it's rare that you get infected, but to do it is usually through the nasal because that's where your nerves are. Oh, and that's like candy to them. I thought it'd go through their ear. No, well, either way, they're filled with nerves. That's an interesting thing. It's more moist in your nose. I don't know, but that's usually how you get suck it in. Who know? I don't even know, but like God. he basically, if it's if it's properly, you know, got the right amount of chlorine in it, you can't contract it. But if you're swimming in a lake or something where there's no chlorine, you know, no, no attention to a... it, it, he died from it. So, like, that's just as any virus, they, they literally just feed off it and then all the mechanisms your immune system throws out there to knock it off, they, they just get killed. So you're just giving everything and you're just dying. <laughs> it's horrible. It's so in Arizona, crazy. Wendy's is a... Is a, is a uh, well, man, I mean, okay, so you, you go to Wendy's, you're going to see some, you go to McDonald's, you're going to see some. This is what you don't see every day. Uh, a, a man by the name of Antoine, um, he was a 35-year-old male worker over at Wendy's. And apparently one of his elderly customers, he was about 67 years old, came up and, and, and gave him just enough lip to piss Antoine off. And um, I don't have his image up. I, I must have neglected to grab it. But this guy... He looks average, Bill. He's, he's a bit tall, you know. He's probably about six feet. Is he bigger than me? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Antoine. Oh, you know. man. Oh, well, when he's a boy, he's being charged Antoine. with second-degree murder yeah, he, after uh, man was struck in the head in an Arizona fast food mart. An altercation occurred in a Prescott Valley over 75 miles north of Phoenix involving a Wendy's employee and a customer around 4.45 p.m. Mm -hmm. on July 26. Officials said customer complained about his food. Yeah, so then you uh, should go to Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, like, details. If you went, if it? you go to a fast food restaurant, you turn around and complain. It better be because you got the wrong item, <laughs> you know. But anyway, this this poor man, this man, all ultimately he did die yeah, from his injuries. Years old. Um, the man well, punched him. There's a razor blade in his burger. Like, no, <laughs> who knows. no, he smacked him over the head. Yeah, he hit him. The, oh, the I thought you were saying from the the complaints. No, <laughs> I was like, well, then we should talk about what they right. were. Well, we don't know what they okay. were. It was enough to piss Antoine off. They were probably off. a little too too cold or something. So okay. Something. A little bit of compassion goes a long way. He died. He killed him. See, and he didn't die on the guy. spot. I want to clarify that oh, too. Shit. He didn't die on the spot. He died uh, uh, later on. So that incident happened on uh, June. 26th July, he, 26th. Uh, July 26th and died August 5th. Whoa. So it was a so while later. Like, so it like went head from, injuries he died? Yeah, it went like from head? aggravated assault yeah. to second degree murder. And that's why that story is interesting. It's not just some <laughs> guy socked up a dude and he died. God. It's because it went from yeah. an assault to a murder. It graduated. Yeah, yeah. You know? But uh, those were my two picks. Uh, <laughs> 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 a big takeaway from the story. I was saying, no, the takeaway. I was saying they need to arm them with more insurance back. being a bazooka driver. You had a story too, Corey? Yeah, yeah that's that's right. Right. if something's picture. wrong with the order, <laughs> give compassion. They'll they'll be compassionate back. Don't <laughs> recite with anger, you know. <laughs> but uh, I have a great story. Actually, you brought up July 26th. There's actually someone that was just born July 29th that we all know. We all know. <laughs> I think even you, I think I assume you guys would know. 
Um, he was born July 29th this year. Uh, George Jetson. This year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so 2022. This year. Yeah, according to the born. cartoons. Oh. Well, it's a web. Oh. Kayla, it's a web. It's a web telescope. Is able to look back and find <laughs> when he was born. My dad references yeah. the Jetsons on the daily. Me and when George I was really Jetson. sick, I really hope. I really wish. Oh. I could His have a boy Elroy. What's the biggest thing that we all remember from, from the Jetsons? He didn't mention that as a story for me. You know that. Oh. <laughs> what do we all remember from the Jetsons? Too. Is the flying cars. No. Yeah. According, yeah. according to this news, <laughs> this street legal three wheeled car that turns of a push of a button to 200 miles per hour plane is ready for final testing. Ah. It just reserved its, it received its airworthiness certificate from the FAA uh, after 14 years of development. So that's a long time that they've been working on us, not telling us about it. Well, uh, there's, a, there's actually a, a, a car that's a drone. That's yeah. actually mentioned on here, too. I've that's, seen that. The, that's yeah. much more uh, effective. <laughs> like, yeah. it, I, I love like the idea. That, like, yeah. Oh, you probably need a landing strip in your neighborhood. <laughs> Speaking of, they got those. Oh, well, they're legal they're anywhere legal in the cheap. country, but you can't fly them near. It's like a regular drone. You, you can't have, fly them right near air, air or, or in, But you in can't in be in cities. it either, like a car. Yeah. yeah. You can't. Yep. You're in well, it. I almost so want to pose. It's like a drone, cause why? Just cause it's flying. It's got four it? four motors on it, just That's like it? a drone. What do you guys right. feel but, safer but in? The, nothing else is like a drone. Do you guys feel safer exactly. in a helicopter or an airplane? Remote. I don't feel safer in an airplane. So that's kind no, of what this car is about, like in that sense. A drone's more like a helicopter. It's a. It's a. Yeah. It's a uh, you got your next one. Yeah, and once Elon gets behind it, we're good. I mean, I think we're out of the news, Joe. You had one more story. Yeah. Oh, that goes hand in hand with this. Um, so instead of talking about the feature, this is actually something that's happening now. It's a world record holder. In five months, this 16-year-old kid is going to be the first 16-year-old to travel across the entire globe. I'm um, scared. I mean, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> He well, Amelia like, Earhart did. A little it too excited. That, that, was that didn't nice. turn out so well. What but they mean? didn't have cell phones back then. It, you know, he could probably just call his mom if he needed. <laughs> this is like nothing. <laughs> he didn't even have to do nothing. He can sleep. It's all automatic. See, that's why he's so happy. You know, he's like, <laughs> hey, hey, I got over on you, dumbasses. Amelia Earhart. She had to stay awake the whole time. Yeah. Right. She had to hold the rudder and shit. He had to fuel up in this foreign country. She was like ready to go on a suicide mission. Yeah. The cool thing about this. Okay. Is that he was? He's the youngest pilot to do it, right? Yeah, the prior prior. Well, she was is, a woman in, a, in an airplane that can't eat. She is, was young. Was we she, don't even know where that plane not was. Not impressed. Here, here's my thing, though. This is my question: How young will they draw that line? Twelve-year-old <laughs> flies across the world by himself. Um, right. I'd rather see, see, see him swim across Alcatraz. I that. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it to shore from Alcatraz. A guy <laughs> did that right. last week for a, a, a charity thing. Yeah. Oof. So there you go. That's the news. That was our news. <laughs> so we had a little different twist on our news, if you noticed. We pretty much just went back to what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> so I said, everybody come up with your own thing. As and opposed to what? <laughs> as what absolutely not know, planning not to know what we're doing. How's that? That was what it was. We planned not, not to, to know. know. Hey, look here. Tommy V's in that. <laughs> Tommy V. Now, do you guys know Tommy V or is that my uncle? Well, it's Tommy V, whatever it is, right there. He could be your uncle. Yeah, that'd be kind of something. I'd be surprised to see your family here. Nobody's there. Right? Nobody's there. So we had the news. We're getting high. We got some specials, Joe. Tell them about our classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the week. Yeah, so we have the classic news of the Forgot what the hell I drank. <laughs> Strawberry pina coladas, baby. New formula. Why don't we just call Fifth. it daiquiri? Well, they have because daiquiris. They're different. Yeah. We well, have let's a call pina coladas. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you asked. Explain. I'm going to let you taste. Go get your okay, get some fresh ice. Okay, let's try the daiquiri. The daiquiri is more fruity and it doesn't have any like Go nice... get some fresh ice. Okay. Okay? okay. While she gets fresh ice, we're going <laughs> to daiquiriize it. <laughs> Daiquirate it. Hey, no. Dagger. <laughs> Daggerated. So this is a uh, very, very strawberry. Super mm. strawberry. It's like fruity. It's fruitier. Mm -hmm. kind of like coconut. Okay. Well, you know, I found this organic strawberry that actually has chunks of strawberry, but doesn't need to be refrigerated. It's amazing. I love that we don't got to refrigerate it. Could you imagine what a shipping nightmare that oh, would have been? Oh, wow. 
Mm. Have you had this yet? No. No, I've been waiting. Wow, I like that. Live reaction on air for everybody. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's good. Amazing, I wouldn't change a thing. Huh? I wouldn't change a thing. And I would say, if you guys want to do a zoom in, <laughs> I might have like my eyes roll behind my back. In a bit, but <laughs> <laughs> People get Corey, you don't, I don't use weed products. But, but you got me, you sold me a strawberry daiquiri. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's got Speaking my language. Taste. Well, he's got alcohol, so, you know, you put a little alcohol in it, he'll drink it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, isn't that fucking good? That was that good. Now, I guarantee you, Kayla Ray's going to like this, too. Mm -hmm. I know it. So, tonight, though, we only have the pina coladas getting stoned in the rain. For all of you. <laughs> well, for our VIPs who you order, You can right? drop your pants here. Nobody will complain. No complaint. <laughs> So if you want to call, you can call. We get the weed of wheels just starting out. We're only at uh, 6 o'clock. We've only been going a half hour. <laughs> Not 40 minutes, 40 minutes. Damn, man, I'm already tired. I'm ready to go. <laughs> You're working hard today. You got the whole new <laughs> Kayla, wait till house. you try the strawberry. She's getting some fresh ice and a clear palate so she can... Uh, what about my palate? She's cleaning her palate. Oh, I am? Um, so I have a fresh just... tongue. Yes. Give him a riddle. Let's do another riddle. Let's Give him a it. riddle. All right. Riddler. Riddle it up. Riddle it up. No riddle in for your riddles. All right. This one, <laughs> even though I've not seen all your shows, Kayla. I would not be surprised yeah. if you guys have had this riddle on your show before. So you guys will. Yeah, I, 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 we you don't. You may know. have it. But you know what? They may not. We never remember. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we have an excellent stoner memory. Let's do a cliche one for now, and I'm saving the juicy ones for later. Oh, juice. Yeah. Um, so I am the first on earth. Second in heaven. I appear two oh, times in a week. Ice. What do you mean clean it? Dump the ice, put fresh ice so you can taste this fresh drink. Okay. <laughs> she so filled up her wine glass. In case you guys didn't hear. Little yeah. strawberries. It's funny, imagine someone starts putting the answer before I finish Absolutely. the riddle. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what I, why I picked this uh, formula, because it's That's an organic. Yeah. yeah. We'll get to the riddle. <laughs> we kind of have a little, you know. Have some fun. Freestyle. Right. Surfing. Yeah. Here, where's, the, where's my, how come I don't get noises no more, man? They took away my box. <laughs> Joe oh. got sick of getting slapped. <laughs> I have to do it for real. Yeah. <laughs> ah! That's my been... favorite fucking thing is a slapping Joe. I'll hat. have to get that sound back and put it over here. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I yeah, it's dead. Now you just got to deal with. <laughs> or, or if you feel evil. You can never go wrong with a womp, womp, womp. Yeah. yeah. Right. these glasses now. No okay, case, baby. Oh, that's good. Okay. So here's the strawberry daiquiri, the new formula. So if you had them before, they're 150 milligrams. And, oh, wait. Here. Yeah, a really great song. That shit was solid as fuck. getting with that. All right. Melody stuck in my head already. Here you go, Here, let's see this. That's extremely deep and dark. Put your wine down. It is very concentrated. It is rich. It is wealthy. You haven't tried the daiquiri yet, have you? That's why I need to take that first so that I can... Mmm. Mm-hmm. Extremely concentrated. Extremely. <laughs> it's very dark, as you can see. <laughs> is it too... Is strawberry it... and concentrated. Um, what do you, you think? Give it, give it your opinion. It's, it's okay. Yeah, it's... it's Would you want to go for one with him? You know, it's like the mojito. It's very like. Again, this is dangerously delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's got to be part of the theme song, dangerously delicious. But I don't yeah. know if that's good for marketing or not. Yeah, I have no idea. Because it tastes that good that I'm forgetting that it actually. This has got 150 in it. milligrams. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. it's good. It's just it's like deep. It's like you feel like it can be watered out. Yeah. You know, like it could, that's what you it can could easily be 150 rum. You could easily drink that comfortably, like just watered out. You, well, you know, can, like you it can doesn't even have to be concentrated. Right? Yeah, some I'm just like yeah, yeah, lemonade. Yeah, like maybe just on the side. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like <laughs> celery, maybe oh, make it a bloody mary. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, oh, that's kind of what's bacon, cool about it, I guess. Bacon, you could wait. be free to No, do that's it tomatoes, man. <laughs> well, it looks the same. <laughs> it's it for the photos. The so we have the pina colada, strawberry pina colada. But that one you can just drink straight. It's like perfect how it is, even. Yeah, this is delicious. <laughs> just 
Awesome. So if you're a VIP, you're a member, you buy tonight, put in the notes, I want my pina colada. Or you can call, if you sing it, I might give you one. Nobody's calling us, Joe. No one's Which calling. One? I put the phone number right. up above Bruce's head. Give him a riddle. Give him a riddle. Well, like, well, I've already answered the... Uh, eight, six, seven, so was five, it? Three, the letter E. Nine, All right. Nine. Let's see how good are they are on this one. They, they seem like they got me. I didn't even finish the riddle and they still had an answer. Right, let's so take that, it up a notch. That belongs to Joseph Rackleheim. Yes, indeed. So let's put him up. All right, Joseph. Let's see if you get this one, too. Uh, what what did he get? He got the riddle. Which riddle? Um, he said what? Um, I, I'll read it again for anyone who no, wants to hear. It. It's um. <laughs> I want a new one. If someone got yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's what I was gonna do. A, I was gonna do a more I'd complicated one. recycle it later. Yeah, you're not wrong. Come on, give him another one. All right. What has four eyes but can't see? Do you know this oh, one? I know that one. You know this one? Uh -huh. Four eyes and cannot see. It has four eyes. It can't see. I know this. You guys all know it. Well then. Eyes. Eyes. Think about it. Eyes. Do you, know, you do know this one then? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do inside of me. It's something that's like eyes that are really <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> what does I'm, it mean? I'm under what does it mean? <laughs> there we go. There's the music. Four well, eyes, but can't but see. see Titty. Though. They do other. What would it be? No, your answer might be not even my answer. <laughs> Four eyes no, and can't see. Like, I think it's a word like Mississippi. Me. Yeah, Mississippi. There we go. Hey, yeah. you know okay. But in some ways, I'm, Mississippi can see because it's Mississippi. C. Yeah, yeah, but um, <laughs> that's terrible. See, I, uh, I, I, I see myself out. <laughs> yeah, no, it's in Mississippi. See what happens when I don't do the riddles. Uh, no, come on. I got oh, more. Yeah, that gives I'm saving the good ones for later. All right. Well. We need another one. Put her on the board, brother. Uh, all right. Karen, I think, is on there. Yeah. Karen. Okay. We need another one then. Good job, Karen. You knocked somebody off. Next. All right. Now, that's what we're doing now. If you're already in the wheel, you still can guess. <clears throat> you just knocked the next guy off. That's all. You smacked him down. Smack him down like this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> we have to, I got to have to really hit him. I got Joe a massage today. He never had a massage. I didn't give what? him a massage. Right. <laughs> An Asian girl. I, I, I give up at the massage. You know, we're, we're yeah. he's my associate, but you know, no hugging much. Right, you know. right. We don't do the. But, you know, we don't hug. You know. But we share drinks, and that's yeah, fine. That's, that's, that's yeah. where we go. <laughs> we, I'll, we take go. Him to, I'll take him to dinner. Right, yeah. right. And I'll no pay, I'll pay him just like, it's, just like like. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Alan Harper for me. You know? <laughs> I'm was, just always aware. He just doesn't live here. It's the only difference. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now I forgot where I was going to this shit. massage, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So I went I went to, it's a little seedy looking massage parlor, too. I was like, what the fuck? And it's right down the road, so it was Tao, you know, massage. Yeah, Tao massage. Tao. Tao massage. So I get in, of course, a little Asian chick, right? dungy looking place she takes me back man the best fucking massage i've had i don't even remember deep tissue neck hands feet in between every little fucking re reflexology points oh yeah and she's like an hour and 15 minutes and she was it was killer so Detail. basically people who did not go to school so they can get paid <laughs> i pay her way above the car well, go to massage and you'll find the exact same asian who will almost yeah. kill you through your guts Right. Well, chicks. I like her, and that's where <laughs> I sent Joe. <laughs> so I got it for Joe. He's never been out of regular massage. No. So well, he didn't know it's been there. It's the same thing. Like, I've yeah, always right? been the one to provide the massage, but no one's ever, you know, paid the Can favor back. Can I just back. share something? This is a first. <laughs> Every time after I get a massage, after an older woman gives me one, she tells me at the end, you have a beautiful body. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like very interesting. Well, when the Asian Dr. Wong used to do my acupuncture, okay? Oh. So um, I turned on Laura Lee to the same guy, you know? And it used to irk me because he would do my acupuncture, he'd lean up against me, and I'd feel his penis. It was about the size of a finger. <laughs> and I'd just feel it on my side of my body and just disturb the fuck you out mean of me. it was the it was like the feel little, of a, a it, finger like it was hard that's like all the bigger it was no there's just, it a, little, just, a, just a little penis brushing up <laughs> so little lady goes down normal, there and she gets so, like, a hardness. she gets a uh uh, uh massage <laughs> and she comes back and says hey did you notice his little penis when he leans up against you <laughs> Uh, Bruce, can well, we let's take a, a let's take stereotype. a quick commercial and we'll be right back. People. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> let's let's do uh, yeah. Deep inside the music. Hi. <laughs> 
Meet Joe. He's outside for his bong smokes. Enjoying a little bit of that Utoya hot hand. Oh, there he goes. Say hi, Joe. Joe. Oh. He's found relaxation. Freedom, peace, expression, laughter, enjoyment, mm. flavor. You toy is hot hemp. Order online now at utoy.com. Hot hemp. It's pretty damn good. Sponsored by Deep Inside the Music. Use promo code Deep Inside for 50% off. Some restrictions may apply. See website for details. We're returned, oh, and we're, we're back. back. Yeah, Kayla took a break. <laughs> I saw the comments are saying they wanted that you to add Michael to the list because yeah, uh, the other uh, two were already on it. Did Michael? Or we can just give him another riddle and see if he can guess well, it. Well, yeah, do another I riddle. Missed, you missed another the, riddle. I missed the riddle. Sorry. No, no, but yeah, Michael guessed it after they were already on the list. But um. Yeah, that's all right. You can just do a new riddle. I've got a lot of these. Um. I was going to show you a quick trick, because I think before the commercial uh, break, you were talking about the little dick. <laughs> I've got a, something relative for I've that? got a little dick trick. You guys can all see this at home. And I want you guys to keep in mind that it's actually not a little. I'll put this up on the close-up cam for them. Yes, it's right let's here. do it. Perfect. It's right here. So you just put that up there. Um, all right, guys. I want to make sure you guys know that this is actually not that little of a dick. It's a very average-sized dick, okay? Looks like a dick mm-hmm. paddle. like you. It's, <laughs> I got this at the pet con. <laughs> okay. And you gotta remember, guys, that size doesn't matter about personality. And I've been told I have a huge personality. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just gonna hold it by Joe here and. Oh. Whoa! All right, Joe! There we oh, no. go. It extended. I, I know, let's see if we can get it. Yeah, there we go. That's some big trick energy you got there over oh, there. Yeah, damn. But over by me, it's like, no. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that's nuts. I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, again. <laughs> I didn't know I was that hey, Kayla, come on back now. <laughs> Put them dogs away. She had to take care of the puppies. Man, I can not... You got that at FetCon? Yeah. Is, is that a thing? Do people just... No, no, I bought it and I made it myself. Because <laughs> yeah. oh, like, that'd be... like I guess I kind of get it. There's all kinds of shit like that. But. I'll tell you, a place like that... I'm, I pride myself being an adult-rated... Uh, right, entertainer. Right. Yeah, so that's yeah, why I appreciate right. what the shows we can, you know, cross the lines. And <laughs> you know, it's not like <laughs> yeah, count bad. the wrinkles to know how many inches you got, right? Like, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's, it's cold so in Florida. You should show I was going to talk about some too. of these uh, these these blowout sales that we got yeah. going on on yeah, the I'm website. Gonna let, I'm gonna let Corey join you. Yeah, here. let's yeah. see some of this. Yeah, let me more about the products. All right, so check this out, guys. I've got these laid out. You may have seen them just kind of sitting here while we've been talking and just. Also out of view. Well, I'm going to show you what these are. Guys, our HHC disposables, these are on sale right now. You can get them inside of the live special section right now at utoya.com. And as well as that, we also got our THCO one gram vape disposables. And I want to take a moment to highlight this beautiful flavor right here. This is our wedding cake. And I, I'm going to be honest, like, I feel like I've seen a lot of wedding cakes around. And if you didn't know that we had wedding cake here, guys, this is killer flavor. I just wanted to remind everybody that that's around. And of course, we do have our one gram Delta 8 disposables. We brought along a cereal milk with us today. That seems to be a huge, huge crowd favorite. Really, cereal milk. Who does? I mean, yeah, <laughs> cereal milk. You know. Add some cinnamon. Now you got some cinnamon toast crunch milk. <laughs> right, right. You know, it don't matter what you got. It's cereal milk, and you're gonna enjoy go. that. And we've got our THCO grape uh, one grape one gram vape cartridges. These are also on sale, and that sunset gelato flavor. Boy, let me tell you, that has been just a killer flavor throughout that, like just throughout all time, really. And I brought over. I feel like. I just, this isn't necessarily on sale at the moment. The price is amazing, and they have recently dropped. Um, platinum cookies. If you have not had the chance to try some of these platinum cookies, I have a customer who walks in um, twice a month at least, and he'll buy like three or four of these platinum cookies, specifically these elite platinum cookies. 
And uh, he swears by. He goes and grabs his neighbors, tells his Uber driver mm-hmm. to come in with him. <laughs> you know, the whole nine yards. You gotta buy for yourself and your loved ones. You know, right? Yeah. And um, just a re a, a small recap from last week. We do have our Entourage Reserve vape carts. They have dropped in price, and the reason they've dropped in price is because we've got this right here. Look at this bad boy. You can't tell me that this is not attractive. Aside from mm. the see-through, I wish I could put my hand behind it and see it, but I'm not that cool. Um, maybe Corey might be able to pull <laughs> something like that off, but these right here, these Entourage Reserve vape cards, now they're available in these awesome disposables. They're one gram disposable, so the price is going to stay nice and low for you guys. We know that a Reserve 2 gram would just be too much, far too much. So I'm going to show you... Um, once I pull this out here, see that that tamper-proof seal makes a world of difference. Because <laughs> then it makes sure you didn't tamper with it, like I'm tampering with it right now, right? So no tampering with the tamper seal. So you lift it up, make sure it's good. That you know nobody's gonna steal your shit. They would get caught by them. So check that out. Branded, beautiful, lovely slanted curve to reveal the distillate on that reserve. Nice big reserve letters on the back because you're going to smoke those mm-hmm. letters first, let me tell you. Inhale those letters. We seal it back up. You guys already know you need some of this reserve. And we got a new format coming out. Another reason why I brought this. Uh, Delta 8 Reserve is coming out as our hybrid format. So we got THCO that has Lemon Jack. We have Delta 8 that's going to be our hybrid. And our indica, which is our blueberry. Yep. Something I want to comment you guys on is I'm one of those people that when I get packaging, I always have the hardest time throwing away. If I had this packaging, I'd probably be <laughs> stashing it and like, what can I use this for later? Oh, yeah. You guys did a good job of making it look pretty and, and presentable. And Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah I love our, our, our packaging really does. It is, uh, you can use it over and over again. <laughs> um, I, I've reused packaging at my house just because I like how it looks. Um Holding on to your vapes is good. I'm going to come up with a whole uh, vape holder. A whole kit, like a whole like little chest backpack or something. That would be amazing. You have a vape gun. So oh. I'll, I'll, I'll 3D print this shit, all right? I'm going to get this. This is my vape mod. I'll do a video on it later. Don't ask. All right? And then we have it like a gun here, and we'll set up a trigger thing, and we'll have a bunch of vapes lined up right there, and then we'll have like a fan blow out. So it's like... Everyone's like, oh, no, please don't shoot me. Please don't. It's like, you don't know what's coming. <laughs> and uh, Joseph Reckelhoff, THCJD, we are eyes on making sure that it's going to be okie dokie for us to play with. THC JD products. And we did release some <laughs> THC JD testers out, and uh, you know what? Where's my feedback? Yeah. I got some feedback from some of you, but if you guys are in the chat right now, I'd love to know. You guys got to try the THCB uh, JD not that long ago. I want to say that was like three or four shows ago, the THC JD. And uh, really, I thought it was all right. I thought it was a solid option, um, but we don't know a lot about it. It's hard to find it in the text. Don't use me as a test subject. I'll be like, it's crazy good. It's like, yeah, but like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's got that. Wow, woohoo, way hot. <laughs> now, Joe, you're, you're pretty, you're pretty comfortable. Like, you can smoke weed and feel very comfortable. Uh, I mean, regularly. I don't even get behind That's the wheel. Said he said mm-hmm. um, on live. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a trick that I was gonna do to really test out this uh, this new stuff you're talking about. See how good it really is. Do this little quick trick. <laughs> all right, all right. Quick yeah. trick. Uh, I think you guys can see it through the camera here. We've got. I gotta get it a little higher. We've got Looks two guys. Like we've got a five of diamonds. We've got a queen of clubs. Oh, did you stick the Queen of Clubs behind the Five of Diamonds? Am I uh, in frame? Uh, just a little higher. So you want me to go up to this camera? Oh, this is perfect this right is here. Really high, cool. Yeah, take that hit and blow it into the card. All right, let's take a, a nice pop. A here. big one. <laughs> the more cloud coverage, the better for me. So watch the Five, watch the Queen, the back of the Queen. There we go. Yeah, look at the card through the camera now. Look at that. <laughs> if you're seeing that, that means oh get some God. contact high going on, right? If you take the Queen, one, two... <coughs> That looked clean. That looked good. That looked amazing. And I'm not even that high. <laughs> that, man, I've never seen cards spiral like that. It's because you never had that new material right there. Right, right. <laughs> That's how you know. 
That's that strawberry daiquiri. That's a strawberry daiquiri. That's a strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> I'm feeling that for sure. And um, in regards to just... flower of the month, yes, we have given it some thought. It is coming I soon. Like that. It is coming soon. Just you hold your horses and I'll be right on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one a cool question you asked about like combining two different weeds, what would you call it? That should be, just be an ongoing each week, you know, you pull out the best, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be the doing best answers. That. Yeah. Because um, I mean yeah. I loved what we saw. There were some awesome strain combos and I'm gonna think of more of Yeah, those. so give me three days in a row to think about this. I'll come up with some, <laughs> some clever stuff. Yeah, like um you know what? I do have another one that I thought of already ahead of time and I was ready for the show to do it. Um ta- I just wanna know if if you had if you had to name a baby but the rule of the parent who you had to name the baby for was it had to be the absolute most, just the worst name, but it has to be a real name. The worst name you can think of, but a real name. We're not going to name these parents because they're way too abusive. We'll never meet them. Can I name my ex's name? No, I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Everybody's going to throw in their ex-wife. But yeah. <laughs> and and um, I don't have an ex-wife. Mm. Neither do I, so I have a good name. We should all not have an ex-wife together. Yeah, right? That's who my potential ex-husband would be, because I've never married somebody with his name. So, a hard name that I feel like is a a rough name, it's not the worst name, (laughs) but it's a rough name, Myrtle. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know if I I could really be up, I don't know if I could really be like... Damn, Myrtle, let me okay. get some of that. Yeah. Like, it feels like I got And also, you think, what's for short? Myrt for short? Like, come on, Myrt. Come on, Myrt. I apologize to all the Myrtles here. I'm sure right, lovely people, I without a doubt. Like, Myrtles. do you have a nickname if your name is Myrtle? What is the you nickname? You get something yeah. free Myrtle. if your name is Myrtle. If your name is Myrtle. Myrtle. <laughs> yeah, um, shout out to Myrtle Beach. That's going to be my wife. I'll be like Urkel, you know. Can't go to Myrtle Beach, meet all the Myrtles. There we go. What's and the trust name? Us. What's Things the other are bad name? I'm not going to go next. Um, I'm kind of excited about the next riddle that I have. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I got, I got one more. That's, oh, I got a lot more, but let's, I'm going to send one more really quick. So. All right, another riddle for the, for the folks here. All right, chat. Okay. And this is actually kind of pop quiz. This is what made me think of it. You were going through these flavors. If you don't mind, kind of run through the, the flavors again. Like, what's, uh, sure. we got wedding cake? So, yeah, we got some wedding cake Are you supposed here. to smoke that before a wedding? Um, I wouldn't. I mean, if I'm going to give a speech, fuck yes. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, because you're going to say something way better than what wrote. Yeah. yeah. And It'll be like not invited yeah. back. You know? Hey, hopefully they never have another reoccurring wedding. Right, well, you know, yeah. there's, there's either the second wedding or the divorce. <laughs> or there's a baby I shower. <laughs> yeah. There's a baby shower. Hopefully you get invited to the baby shower. I think I heard the uh, favorite, like, groom speech was, uh, good to see you all again. <laughs> right, right. The best man. Um, and then you still got wedding cake. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we got the wedding cake. We got some sunset gelato. And, you know, I brought along some Maui Wowie for the, for the de- you know, for the HHC. Death Star was really popular on that side. And then platinum cookies. Okay. Right? Good stuff there. Got this blueberry OG, uh-huh. right? And then finally we got this. I feel like we're missing one now. Banana OG. Yeah. S- sure. s- cereal fun. milk. Oh, it's cereal milk. How could I forget that one? I was actually thinking of another one, but I forgot cereal oh, milk. Was it not cereal milk? Um. Well, then shit. I don't know. Sunset July. All right. It actually is the answer to this riddle. Oh. All right. What? So everything has foreshadowment. Okay. <laughs> well, there were there was something that I said there that's relevant. Uh huh. No, that's yep. your hint. What happened? So it's, uh, I'm a fruit. If you take away my first letter, I'm a crime. If you take away my first two letters, I'm an animal. If you took out the first and last letter of me, I'm a type of music. What am I? Difficult to explain. <laughs> no, I'll say it again. I'm a fruit. He's a fruit. If you take away my first letter, I'm a crime. crime. Take away my first two letters, I'm an animal. Take away my first and last letter, I'm a type of music. What am I? You're a what in music? And I, you, you had all the clues. I said you're missing a flavor, weren't you? I might be. Or just a brain cell. Let's see if anyone has uh, <laughs> any answers before I... Yeah, if anybody oh, knows that, man, I'm... I'm They're like tightly like, like, lost. My fingers hurt. Well, fruit. Yep. Okay, what about the fruit? It's a... Grape. It's a grape. Okay. Mango. Makes sense, right? Yeah, because if we took away the first letter, R.I.P., a... right? Oh, no, not R.I.P., but <laughs> God bless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, one like, one prayer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's definitely a crime unless it's a fetish. But <laughs> right. mango? Well, then, uh, no, uh, not mango, grape. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Take away the G. Oh, I thought you were talking about mango. No. <laughs> like, so yeah, you take away the first letter, you get rape. Uh, I don't know if you say that out loud. <laughs> right. Um, oh shit. You get... Second letter, you get ape, and then you take the first and last, you get rap. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. But now I'm curious about mango. What if you take the first letter, you get ang? You get, I thought you, you, you were talking angle. about. I thought um, you guys were talking about aggravated, like ag aggro. I was I like, say, guys, yeah, that's mango. Yeah. I'm ango right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's not no. And then if you take the first so, letters, ango. So Joseph Rekolov got that one, but that nice. means he knocked. That them was the boys. riddle. He knocked them boys off the chart. Yeah, got him. All right, guys, so just remember, every time you answer a riddle, if you're already on the wheel of weed, you knock somebody else's chance. I didn't make that rule last week. It was made this week. We've got a caller on the air. If you're going to get that, uh... Yeah, we got a caller on the air, and it is Laura Lee. Hey, we got, got Laura Lee on the air. How's it going? Hey, I, I thought I was calling Bruce. You, you sure did, but he, he, he and his phone are having a separation. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know if it vibrated the wrong way or gave him the wrong ringtone, but he did not take it with him. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, okay, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're good. Interrupt the show. Oh, interrupt the show. I thought oh. you were joining the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I can you're, do with that. It. you're with it. So, what's going on out in Oregon? Not, so. <laughs> okay, well, we're still here. Yeah, how's it going out there in Oregon? It's going, it's going. I was, uh, I'm just uh, writing a deal for Kayla. Actually. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, Kayla's doing sales around, if we didn't mention that before. And, well, what 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 is what is work without a good team? <laughs> you know? We're, I'm, pinch, I'm pinch hitting right now. Like, see, I am a terrible team member. I, I forget everything. I never answer my phone. I have no oh, idea what's man. going on until the last minute. Um, but I, I no, no, Joe is the glue, okay? <laughs> Sometimes that's not the worst quality. Cause you know, I, I too don't really always reply <laughs> on cue, but when I do, it's valuable. Hey, you know, <laughs> yeah, if you use that in a shop, you know, you walk up, are you going to buy my D8? And they say, no, well, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to answer to Joseph. No, I would say answer because you might give the next person in line the clue to get them on the wheel, I guess. But I uh, don't feel bad to like hold back. Maybe hold back a little bit. Let the other people that haven't. But also, if you have the answer, full send. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or, or whatever you guys want to do. I don't think there's any strict rules for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's okay. Up? Well, the question. They're saying, should they answer if they're already on the wheel? Um. At this point, it's it's up to you if you want to be that guy. Did you, did you hear <laughs> like, the question? No judgment, but no. Yeah, if you want to be the big. It's like, on you. So like, by here's, now. here's how I put it. Here's how I put it. If we have taken so long on a question and you know the answer and nobody else has taken it, take it. Mm -hmm. Run it. Imagine mm -hmm. putting them on the wheel twice. Though. It's like, ooh, right. see, that's see, that, that has happened. That has happened in the past. We have done that Jesus, before. Take the wheel. <laughs> you ready, mom? You got the answer. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, the riddle? I have a new you one. You want it? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's run, run it. Riddle. Let's run a riddle. All right. Let's give you new. All right, this. Okay, this one is the man who invented it doesn't want it. The man who bought it doesn't need it. The man who needs it doesn't know it. What am I? Man. Wow. I know. It's, it's, it was, I got some tricky ones. Like the very it's first a... answer to me was AIDS. AIDS. Like, <laughs> who invented it and doesn't want it? <laughs> who bought it? But you don't buy AIDS. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, I mean, you might. On the market. <laughs> What's you your might. incentive? You're like, um, you know. If, Show me your attention. You're, you're that guy that goes around, um, are you clean? <laughs> Let me Do you it. want to be dirty? <laughs> That's a good one. But yeah, I guess the man who needs it doesn't know it. That's a weird part to that answer. Right, right. doesn't know it. And then why would you need that? Okay. <laughs> so let's see if anyone has answered. Uh, maybe some people on the chat, do you know it? Maybe they do. But now we just left them all silent because we judged Yeah, there's a, there's a five minute delay there, but, uh, okay. or five seconds, sometimes five minutes, sometimes 20 minutes, sometimes 25 minutes, depends. Refresh your story. Just be good. Yes! Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, coffin. So the man who invented oh, it, he doesn't want it. The man who bought it doesn't need it. You know, he doesn't need it. Yeah. And then the man who needs it doesn't know it. That's good, a good answer. One. Yes. Wow. Solid. That's a Guilty. It's a little dark. I saw him. Yeah, that it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 oh, really? Oh, yeah. so I just want to know, did you do the didgeridoo? <laughs> <laughs> did we do? You the haven't didgeridoo? been watching, huh? Do you guys have a didgeridoo? No, we don't have a didgeridoo. Just, just you do not have a didgeridoo. Oh, do not. Okay. Do not didgeridoo. I we didgeridoo not. <laughs> well, that's story down. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Huh? At this point in the show. So, didgeridoo. 
Well, just on, on the doodad. Joe, you just get a little didgeridoo on the doodad. <laughs> Deep inside like the music, they might have a didgeridoo. People have that in their <laughs> residual <laughs> memory. <laughs> but, you know, we'll do it. Oh, it can still work. Is there drama on the show? Well, you know who's drama with me. Well, I don't know. All the time. <laughs> I hadn't noticed nothing myself, but... I don't know. There's probably drama somewhere <laughs> in the world. You know? <laughs> According you to know. the Zach News score, <laughs> it's like let's check it out. Is there drama? Oh, yeah, you know we gotta report. <laughs> All we got gotta do <laughs> it's like drama report. Hit up Cardi B. Even <laughs> like, <laughs> only in within one. What's happening with the Kardashians? Mind. It's funny. There's a post on Facebook. Where it's like start an argument with one sentence, and you kind of do a joke, and then you're like, oh, oh why do anyway. I actually hurt? <laughs> okay, so Sorry, like uh, we could do a thing join. where we have yeah. an argument okay. using only one word at a time. Yeah, oh, we, can, we can do strategized that'd be arguments. It'd be fun and creative. Right. As long as it doesn't start getting personal. I don't know why it's gotta be a whole. <laughs> You know, like every other word serious. is just like. <laughs> I, I'll give that one to Randy. I can't I'm confirm that I saw that. You know, he could be on that. I'm giving <laughs> away that shotgun so if we can. We're live. Oh, we're back. There yeah, we go. No, I don't want any delays on that. We're coming back, mm. ladies and gentlemen. So I think that's something I'm going to be excited. I don't think I mentioned on the uh, the chat, but my shot glass from earlier. I'd like to give that as uh, one of the giveaways for the wheel. Um, I don't know who pays shipping to handling, I guess. They do. They do. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so they can just um, include it in their order. And um, well, oh, if that's my, what you're doing. For my shot glass? Yeah, I don't know what you're doing there. I'll, I'll just probably ship it there and I mean, give them as a gift. Right, all right. I mean, uh, who wins it? The wheel? The wheel? Winner? The wheel, yeah. Gotcha. So for those of you um, listening now and mm -hmm. who remained with us, thank you. Um, it seems like Corey is adding on to the wheel. And your prize for this evening is... It's a right shot here. glass, and it's going to be right over there. Let me go get it. He's going to go grab it. And I am going to go and get back into our studio. Because right. that's what well, Where's the, the cameras over here? Oh. Over there. there. I don't oh, know. I'm coming back yeah, over here. It's over here. There. there we go. <laughs> hither, there. <thither. laughs> so it's going to be the Van Valent shot glass. They say a shot a day. Um, it's probably not recommended. I would not do a shot a day. Right. <laughs> but it, uh, it is a shot of magic a day. will always keep you... Uh, I didn't finish. Yeah, there we go. The doctor way? <laughs> yeah. Uh, a shot of magic a day keeps your brain young every day. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Stay creative. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it should be a caption contest for a lot of things. Like, uh... Even the freeze uh, frame. Uh, caption this moment. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 Let me get back over to our studio so I can actually read what our folks are saying. But guys, um, it's been added to the wheel, which means... Well, it's going to be there for you, alongside with one of these bad boys mm -hmm. right here. Now, this strawberry pina colada, OMG, <laughs> OMG. Can I be on the wheel? <laughs> if I answer a riddle? <laughs> <laughs> well, God, I don't know. <laughs> I know the answer, I swear. <laughs> Man, uh, let's see here. I feel like that whole little moment there where you just got off track, but let's run over. <laughs> let's run over here, guys. Um, I'm going to put us back in the news scene, all right? Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to talk about a little bit more in depth what you uh, what you shared with us. I think you sent this to me. Um, yeah. This image right here. Yeah. This was from... You know, it's so interesting. When you look at that, like, what do you think? And would you think that that's actually a multi-million dollar pebble in your shoe? Yeah. So you, you're filling those rocks. Yeah. You know when you walk and you have a pebble in your shoe, what do you do? You reach in and you get it out. Let's say you're carrying some really expensive gear, like millions and millions and millions of dollars of gear, and you have a pebble in your shoe. That's a lot different. That's kind of what happened with the Curiosity rover out in Mars. And you know what? Those pebbles, they kind of look like nugs. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of look like nugs. They just need a torch and they're good. They didn't... Right. Moon rocks. Get it up. There we go. <laughs> Uh, we thing. need to equip it with a dab rig. That's what we didn't do. <laughs> so the Mars rover with a dab rig out there. Oh, man. You, do you realize, this is almost like a high thought. Do you realize there's a planet that's entirely inhabited by robots? Let me say that again. There's a, an, oh, a planet out there entirely inhabited by robots. Entirely inhabited by, well, I guess it yeah. is. Mars, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, okay. And that's that's true. That's true twice over. Yeah, that's okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I would never have said that if I didn't drink that. <laughs> <laughs> so... There's a whole planet entirely inhabited by robots, and this is one of their internal pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a worse night, like nemesis in a sense. So there's a, a lot of cool things that I learned. I watched a YouTube video on today. This happened earlier this year. 
um, they have a, a team member with it. It's a drone that goes out and scopes out the land because think of one turnover. You don't have, it's like a turtle without any friends to flip it back over. Right. So, well, we got a caller on the oh, line. Oh, there we go. Caller, you made it on the show. Who do we got? Hey, what's up? What's good? Who do we got with us? Big Bong Barry. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to start saving contacts so I actually don't have to ask every time. I feel like it's fun to ask every time, but um, I guess it's not. <laughs> no, no problem. Yep. I graduated from Big Bong Barry just to Barry, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, is your bong okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, good, good, because I, I, yeah. I, you know me. I'm all about my bong care. Over here, it doesn't look like it. I, I have neglected this bong. Um, but I, I am about it. Trust me. <laughs> Mine's a little nicer. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, got to smoke clean. Ah, yes. Man, I think that I get on the wheel, huh? Hey, you know what? Bruce probably would have said, "Yep." <laughs> <laughs> So let's do it, man. Let's sing together. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. I was tired of my lady. Tired of a lady. Like a one out recording. Man. He knew all the same. I was tired of my lady. I read the paper in bed. And in the personal column, there was a letter out there. But if you like the Anacolada, sorry guys, that was so bad. I thought you guys were going to sing that. You're getting caught in the rain. Is that what we're singing right now? Man, that was like the only part I knew, man. I, Dude, I'm, I'm, you get on the wheel just because you want those Yo, effects. mad credit. Yo, <laughs> that was good. Yeah. He even had the sound effects with it. Man, that was a lot. Yeah, you did the instrumentals. You did the instrumentals? <laughs> Solid. That was worth it. Did he that just start from the beginning? It. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, let me get you Love on it. the wheel, Barry. These people right. are freaking out about some drama. All right, They're sounds really good, brother. Thanks it. for like, calling in. Much give love. Them whatever they want. You guys got my look. Yep, much love, Barry. Thanks for calling in. All right. Oh, no, yeah, Michael Jones, I said for the uh, shot glass, we'll throw him up for the shot glass. What's happening? What are they talking about? Like fixed or not fixed? The wheel is broken. No, we're not gonna The badass prize packs for like, the wait, who's what? They're, the they're freaking for the out. Thanksgiving giveaway. Thanksgiving, I like just it. Just saying, yeah, that sounds old as hell. They're doing some old beef. Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, well, guys, we're not like um, we'll give you know. Guys, uh, first of all, Michael people. Jones, brother. Right now, if you're still here, Michael Jones. First of all, brother, you know the rule. You've been, you've been here since the beginning. And uh, you won on the 28th. <laughs> and so did Buckets. So all three of you <clears throat> are not yet past your mark. All right? So we do these games um, for you guys, right? Just to have a good time, be fun, and have something to get the brain working, you know? But... Um, I mean, I don't want to argue about it. You know what I mean? So maybe, maybe it's not, I don't know, guys. You let me know right now in chat if it's worth it to you. Because <laughs> uh, I, I got, we got the rules. We know what we're doing. All right? I don't want to be negative here. We came here to have a good time. And a part of having a good time is making sure you got a regular hand on some of these products. Sometimes, sometimes you just need to take a puff, like I'm about to do right now. I know, I don't know what happened to my vape. And uh, I'm gonna return us <laughs> out of the news. Um, guys, this, 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 uh, the Rover thing is awesome. I can't wait to see more discoveries from so, it. So, I have some more to talk about it actually. Again, I watched a whole YouTube video on it. Oh. You can smoke yeah, while I tell you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. What the whole project is, is to collect a certain amount of samples. You know, it has like a certain drill and they've obviously done all the tests on it. Uh, to collect different kind of rock samples. But again, I guess some of it was so loose that when it was going in, it created that little cloggage, that little cloggage. They said they've never 
planned or anticipated for that to happen, and they had to completely freestyle the solution. Granted, <laughs> granted they have some of the smartest people on the team, I'm sure. <coughs> but uh, how do you think, how would you have solved it? If you're controlling a robot <coughs> from like across... Um, so if, if there's, there's a lot of variables there. Do I have the ability to make smaller robots? <laughs> do I have the ability to craft other machinery or tools that's from pretty, a remote location if I have that capability? That's pretty lit, yeah. <laughs> if I have that capability, then yes. <laughs> I will figure that shit out. Create robots just to like pluck out little note right, pairs like, of uh, You got a 3D printer in there maybe, right? And maybe inside okay. of the Hubble. Or the Hubble. Yeah. The, the hub. I don't know what you call it. Yeah. The cockpit of whatever the fuck. You got a little 3D printer, not little, probably needs to be pretty big, pumping out like different things and assembling it in there. That might be the futuristic way. Uh, dude, are you on to something or did you hear this somewhere? Because no, this is just what I'm thinking. You're on to something, dude. Like, I don't, I don't, like, I, I try my best to think of in depth. Yeah. And, uh, that's what I would do. Okay. <laughs> now, what NASA did did not do. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do? So, what's interesting, um, you know, they tried it with a little shimmy. <laughs> Give it a little shimmy, and they, they, they were so... Uh, oh, they run it over some hills? <laughs> <laughs> off road it a little bit. <laughs> actually, that actually was a part of it. They, there was a point they had to go to a... They had to send the drone out to map out a certain angle where it gets a little bit of leverage, and it has a little shimmy motion. I mean, if you send a robot out to Mars, you got to have I mean, a little shimmy motion. That is, I mean, much less complex than my, my yeah. solution. Go and run over some hills. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we still got rocks in there, though, right? Yeah, but they're not in the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something else that I didn't even know, and it makes all the sense in the world. When they communicate to uh, the rover out there, there's only certain times in Earth and Mars that, like, by the same part, there's... We go around the sun at different times, so there's an interval where we're across the sun. There's no way to send radio waves because it's that oh. giant yellow thing that's right, whatever right. in the way. Whatever so that thing. They is. have an they have an AI system that's in it that it's programmed a certain task to do during well that period. So it's still being productive somehow. And that's so cool that they are that smart to do that. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, fuck. Uh, you would think that like everybody else on the planet. Why don't we have technology like that on Earth? <laughs> started scratching their heads. Like, Man, if I were up there, I'd get a lightsaber and <laughs> fucking stab them rocks. <laughs> I'd shoot it. Where's its gun? It's on an alien planet. <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, no, that that's much, much easier. And sometimes, guys, the hardest solution is the easiest and the most simple. Yeah. It's sometimes well, it's the hardest one to come to. And sometimes I think what's <laughs> awesome is you know ideas. Like really wild out there ideas. Again, I think you're onto something about the whole 3D printer out on a different planet. But those ideas, have those ideas and have fun with them, enjoy them, smile with them. I think share them with friends, whether they happen or not. I think sometimes just by saying them out loud kind of makes things uh, in motion. I, I, so that's an interesting topic all on by itself. And I will say this for everybody. Now there are those of us who, and and I'm not going to get into religion. I'm not here to have that conversation. But there are those of us who are religious, there are those of us who are not, um, but there is a similar theme amongst some people, and whether that format is meditation, open praying, uh, just sending vibes or energy out into the universe, all three of these things are essentially all linked to one singular, and that that is our uh, our, our literal, uh, the word escapes me now, uh, it, it's, our, it's our connection though, uh, God. You know what I mean. Yeah, well, you know, there's always that fun idea. It's called high ideas or hinspirations. I think I made right. that one up just now. That's all Hin I yes. Hinspirations. Insights, like high insights. Yeah, okay, you know? yeah. okay, I'm on to something, guys. Again, I'm high. This is why I should definitely get high in every episode. <laughs> so what I was going to get at is what I hate about getting high, and you guys might have dealt with this in the past, but you get so high, you start taking notes. You start taking a lot of notes. The next morning you look at it, and it looks like hieroglyphics. You have, like, pictures of cats and, like, no meaning. See, I was lucky. I did that. Um, I only went to school high because uh, I got high scores. And that's uh, how that worked. Over at high school? High school. Middle school. I was just <laughs> getting into high school. I got low uh, I, I started when school. I was 13, so I was already I was high in middle school. <laughs> I was getting high in middle school. Um, but I got really... I just gave way the fuck up and was like, I'm going to get high all throughout high school and focus on computers. Not my advice. Don't do what I did. That was a horrible decision. <laughs> um, I, I did well, though. And, and when I did take notes, they were my better notes. And the, the, uh, <laughs> the flip side of that is they had given me um, Adderall oh, mm -hmm. in order to try and control ADD, right? Uh, my notes were horrendous. 
I would never be able to do that. In fact, I was writing shit that the teacher you said that didn't matter. That like, and he stood there with his green pants, writing on the whiteboard. Start writing details that, that have nothing to do with it. Like, there's 38 <laughs> gr- blades of glass. Oh my god, words about it. Blades of grass outside. You're counting the grass, but that's Adderall in a sense. But also state dependent memory. If you're learning while high. Didn't your sister take it even younger? Oh, um, my sister never made it to Adderall. She started with Ritalin, and that oh, was a that's huge back. Or she maybe maybe did for a very short period oh, of time. Oh, I thought she did. But that's what I'm saying. If you study like, like with coffee in the morning, and then when you take a test, drink coffee at that time because you have that same state dependent memory. Mm-hmm. Where if you're tired when you study, take your test when you're tired. If you're tired, if you're stoned, same thing. Oh, great! Because well, I was tired in all those times. Oh, yeah. Somehow <laughs> I passed, and I never knew what I was talking about, and somehow I did really good. So I was that's like, all it takes. okay, yeah. that's all it takes. I, mean, I just I, I did patterns, aware. and they were like, "Well, you're so good, you didn't have to go." Like, I was like, "Okay." You know, one. Uh, this is one short story before we change subjects. Um, <laughs> And subjects. I was I was in English class, and I had just barely gotten done. It was just right after lunch, and I got rip, rip, ripped, right? And I kind of had a feeling that people could probably smell it on me and maybe could probably tell. And I thought, I'm going to do something smart. This wasn't smart. Um, I'm going to let the teacher, uh, when she comes to me, I'm going to say Whatever. I'm so not she, hiding, no. Right. So she's like, do you believe in aliens? I'm going to go around the room and ask everybody, do you believe in aliens? Yes. Do you believe in aliens? Yes. Comes to me, I don't believe in aliens. You'd have to be high to believe in aliens. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, and she said, uh, she looked at me, she said, shut up, you're high. I'm like, fuck. Shut up. Got him. Shut up. I was like, <laughs> you just be high. You're right. Never mind. You're right. I do believe in aliens. See, I think when I was, I was like, I hope no one knows. I'm just gonna tell them right at the bat that I'm high, so they don't think that I'm high. Yeah, I'm gonna be that guy that says, "No, ask for stoners. You are stoned." <laughs> hi, I'm high. Hello. I mean, my eyes was fatal. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm I was good about that. My eyes almost never get bloodshot. Really? So I'm lucky. I had the dumbest dick on my eyes. I thought, yeah, I thought like brown eyes for so sure. Like, That's why we're red now, so it like blends yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, they just demonize. Yeah, oh, I don't mean like that now. Man, I don't oh, mine, mine do, mine demonize. Okay. Mine get like. <laughs> <so> <laughs> mine used to. <laughs> Man. Hmm. Well. That is just me. What are some of the comments in? I've not been reading the comments. Well, they're really fighting. They're like, no, nobody they're no, they're, they're said. No, they're, yeah. but, but the Karen person, you probably know her. They said, like, nobody said it was fixed. And I was just like, <laughs> I said it because if you look up, yeah. someone specifically said I'm it was the fixed. I'm sorry. I was just reading no, a comment. I, I saw this video game. You guys know the show Hot Ones with the, 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 he interviews people? The Hot Ones with the oh, hot wings? Uh, no, yes. I, I have a I somewhat that. of an idea. Imagine this as an interactive game in the future where, and this is what I saw, is truth or dab. Okay, but their dab is a hot wing, but a truth or dab, like... Wait, what? Let's say I ask you a question right now that you'd be like, I'd rather dab than tell that answer. Oh, oh. I love that. Okay, wait. It's like a truth or dare. Okay, so you I'd can rather either take tell a truth than... or, like, take yeah, a dab. I like that. That's, 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 that's your form of it. You're like, dab. yeah, it's like... Uh, taking a knee. I'd rather, yeah. <laughs> that's my... So have you ever taken Viagra before? Uh, no. Okay, you're not ashamed to admit that. Okay. Well, I have. Uh, no. You have? <laughs> okay. Really? I don't know. you have it? No, but I have it either. What did that do? Wait, neither Joseph, no, I it, literally you're not wrong. Just, it just makes you tingly. Like, I, I've right? heard that. I've heard that joke. It kind of comes off as explicit, but um, uh, I have a joke with that with one of my tricks where I put a heart on someone's hand and I'm like, "Did you feel anything?" And like, "No." I'm like, "It's my girlfriend." He says, "But if the heart on lasts longer than four hours, see a cardiologist." <laughs> I like that. I like that. That is clear. I love puns. I uh, yeah. And dad puns are. Uh, you're gonna hate like this puns. one. It's gonna be the dirtiest of them of all. But uh, this is actually a story. At my last stage show, I had my actual physician there. This sounds like a punchline to a joke. It's not. Dr. Fox is there. And I knew he was going to be there. So I set this joke up where I said, uh, at my last physical, my doctor said I had to stop masturbating. I was like, doc, for how long? He said, at least I'm, t- I'm done with the exam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got so blushed. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Dr. Fox, let's give it up for him. And yeah. I all attention. <laughs> but that's a good joke. It's, you know, it's yeah, good. that is a really good Because you got to think about it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I almost feel like there's got to be one last callback, and I, I do apologize for being a little high. I almost have to go to, back to that black screen. Oh, I mean, if you want to go, let's, let's go. do it. Let's go back. Let's take it to the far cam. Far yeah, out. Oh, okay. Uh, it's wow, woo, way weird, way hot. What? Weird. <laughs> what the? I'm gonna kind of move this aside a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. So I had that joke earlier. I don't know if anyone remembered it, but I'm gonna say it. <laughs> What's that? What is the commonality between a Rubik's cube and a penis? 
The answer that I have is the more you play with it, the harder it gets. Yep. My favorite answer over at FatCon last weekend is I'll finish yours in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the cube, I highly doubt it. <laughs> I told him I can do it in three seconds with one hand. The cube. The, the cube, no. <laughs> the cube. If you take a mix up cube, Kayla, how good are you at catching? Oh, it's pretty good. Okay, so hold out your hands like you're about to catch a baby giraffe, okay? No, like a baby giraffe. I don't like know that. what that would be like. If you did, I'd actually be freaked out. <laughs> right? I don't really know. So you got a mix up cube, I'm gonna throw it behind my back, and I'm gonna have you catch it, okay? Okay. Are you baby, ready? Baby giraffe. Okay. <laughs> mix up really cube that happens on the count of three. One, two, three. Catch. Okay. You check out the giraffe. If you look at the cube though. It's all solved just like that. Hey-o! Hey! Oh, mom, high five! <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> Coming back? All right. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna run it over to commercial, and we'll be back in just a moment. Deep inside the music. Hi. <laughs> Toya.com. Do not like these vocals brought to you by Deep Inside the Music. Just go deep inside at Toya.com during checkout to save 50%. Some restrictions may apply. See store for details. Meet Joe. He's outside for his bong smokes. Enjoying a little bit of that Utoya hot hand. Oh, there he goes. Say hi, Joe. Joe. Oh. He's found relaxation. Freedom, peace, expression, laughter, enjoyment, flavor. Utoya's hot hemp. Order online now at utoya.com. Hot hemp. It's pretty damn good. Sponsored by Deep Inside the Music. Use promo code Deep Inside for 50% off. Some restrictions may apply. See website for details. Karen, it would always stand for Karen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're back. <laughs> oh, so I had to water my fucking grass. I've been working on my house and the sprinklers are going on the grass and then yeah. uh, I couldn't find a good time to slip back in. Or you guys I kept running over his sprinklers. I, I can't yeah. see them. I don't know what it is. <laughs> How did we get uh, Kayla's face all shady when I stood up? Boo. <laughs> <laughs> we need no, to, I gotta are, change that just a little bit. Because it's black in my. Yeah, so almost done with the house, you guys. I just gotta paint it. I'm good. So, did We're I miss anything? Out there in the humidity. <laughs> yeah. Did I miss anything? I was watching on my phone and uh, you guys did good. Yeah, bitch. riddles. We need That's some more people nice. on uh, the wheel of weed. Yep, so let's. So let's go with some. Let me, uh, let me fuck can, with some people here. I can quit Google some. I heard. Uh, Big Bomb Barry called in. Yeah, he did. He did. And, uh, yeah, the rules are the rules. And uh, if you want to call in, you got a better chance to win. Yeah, Barry sang for us, and he made it on the wheel. You know, I heard that was fucking pretty damn good. You know, I'm glad it came through. da da bina colada. And you know what? I, I would never have known all those lyrics, just that one part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Joe. It was, it was uh, pina coladas and... Uh, the desperate attempt to save my investment in my yard. <laughs> yes, the pina coladas and the great yard fiasco. Yeah, it's a great yard. <laughs> Fucking sod's expensive now, man. I'm not going to let that shit die. <coughs> no. It was kind of nice out there. I bet it was relaxing. My, my, I, did, I did get fucking high on that. Uh, Chris, is it too much for me to ask, how much of the pina colada do you have? Is it like a limited supply or do you have a decent amount of it? Um, I've had it as much as I need. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm talking about it in stock. Like, oh, I can make, you fucking order a thousand of them, I'll have them to you by Monday. <laughs> there we go. Fuck uh, yeah, baby. There we go. Well, what we gotta do, I gotta test them first. We yeah, have yeah. So what, when we get a new product, you know, here's the procedure. We, I make it, everybody tastes it, and if they like it, <laughs> then I, <laughs> Joe and I make a label, we send it out for testing, and uh, by the time we come down from that product, the testing should be back. <laughs> and our math is usually on point. <laughs> yeah, I've done so much, my math's on point. So you get fucked up as shit, and it tastes good. Yeah, there you yeah. go. And it falls right back into getting high and getting high scores. Bruce smokes regularly. His math is faster than mine. Whew. 
Yes, I'm really enjoying that. And uh, Kayla Ray, did you? Which did you like better? Did you like the strawberry daiquiri or the pina colada? Um. <coughs> Which one was first? Pina colada. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think yeah. one I has really coconut and one. one doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I drank the first one. I didn't really drink it. Yeah. This one. What is this? How old is all my viewers? Barry's 59. Well, they're old enough to say <coughs> terrible. And they're at least old enough to um, be 21 to buy from our website. Joe, 39. Oh. I'm here to chat this, how old all of us are. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, guess Joe's age. What's my age? Uh, Joe is 32. Wait, that's the correct answer? No. 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 33. No. How often? 30. 30. I fucking thought you worked for me three years now. Two years. You started when you were 30. Well, you think so. I just, a no, I started when I turned 20. Just because you don't get a birthday present doesn't mean you don't get older. <laughs> so how well, old that's my, how I go I, by how it. How old am I, Dad? <laughs> how old am I? He's a little off with mine. How old am I, Dad? You're 26. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm three days difference than him, and we're, our birthday is he's 59, I'm 95. We're so if you're 26, how old am I? I don't know. 27. Are you, are you a year older than me? Or was, they say, Joe, you think you're 30. Hey, we need some 30. more riddles going on, man. It's oh, 7 yeah, or 7. Oh, this is one of the riddles. How old do you think we are? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, listen, it gets interrupted. How much does Corey weigh? Huh. Oh, let's not talk write, about write that. Write it down. Write let's it down. Let's just say this jacket used no, to No, no, it's my <laughs> fucking show. We're doing, a, we're doing we're it. Doing we're doing it. Carnival style. Write, write it down. Scale, I might lie to you I want you to send it to <laughs> my hand. tell me your last doctor's Hey, <laughs> Mr. Magic Man, send it to my hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can. <laughs> All of us. It's just putting you least expected. Okay, I got it. I got it. How much does Corey weigh? I got it. 53 pounds. He's five funny, foot, no. seven and a half inches tall. Uh, eight, eight and three quarters on a good day. I just said that to press you. <laughs> oh. I bet you, without shoes, five, seven and a half. Five foot five. Okay. Right? And if I push his fucking red hair down, <laughs> he's probably <laughs> five, <laughs> seven. I'm giving you a half inch just because. It's got to get closer right, than all the people. And we're not going to talk is. about penis size because. too wet. <laughs> I say Corey is 134 pounds. Oh my goodness gracious. How much you weigh, Corey? Uh, Bill. Uh, whoever Joseph is, hey, what do you listen, mean? come on, I don't look that. You're 155? Uh, 155. You, it's you're going to fight Conor McGregor? Uh, uh, I'll talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to him that way. <laughs> I know how to talk. Let me, see. Let me see that arm. Give me an arm. Well, is this, I'm going to give you a trick. Best? I'm going to show you a trick. Here's how you I break a 150 sorry. pound guy's arm. Oh, God. Like no. I can't let that. <laughs> <laughs> I trust yeah, Bro that's Bro why I like Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Brock, someone told Brock Lesnar, uh, uh, Conor McGregor is a badass. And Brock Lesnar says, I'm 200 fucking 90 pounds. He weighs 145 fucking pounds. <laughs> I shit bigger than Conor McGregor. I, I heard that one too, yep. Yeah, I like that guy. You know, Brock Lesnar, <laughs> I, he was actually, when he started out in the WWE, he was one of my favorite wrestlers because he was just... He was huge. Hey, the truth flow. I want to get a scale because I don't believe. <laughs> I don't think he weighs 135 pounds. He said 134. I wish I did. That was me in high school. I think well, you wish you weighed 134 that. pounds? What's that? In a hurricane, you'd be fucking you. flying down the road. I would be holding on to something really tightly because I'm smart like that. If you're really about five that, seven yeah. and a half. You should five nine now. One thirty four. With a hat on, five nine. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, probably one thirty four. Um, and then my age, though. You haven't got my age, though. I weigh less than you. Twenty seven. Yeah, you're off. How far? Yeah. What are you? Twenty six. Twenty years. Twenty six. Uh, let's see what the chat thinks. How, okay. How old am I? How old's Corey? I guess you're actually he's like one year older than me. I I'm don't just really pushing want to say much I, I think he, he I mean, tapped out at 155, yeah. his weight. Is 155 the... He yeah. said I'm 6'4", 290? Thank you, man. No, that's <laughs> Brock Lesnar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me just have it sometimes. You're one of his turds. <laughs> <laughs> you're about the size of Brock Lesnar's shit. <laughs> like that's if he was on a diet. Yeah, I'm 220 <laughs> and I'm fat for myself. I'm usually like to be about... 200. 27. Six I'm not 27. 90. What? How old are you, fucker? Come on, I can't. Be, it's like a. But if this is a circus, you'd have to have a two degree. Now, margin. if there's a circus, there'd be better music. So, what's your, next guess? what's your next guess? It'd be clown fucking music. Yeah. I'd be winning the we just got circus. circus. <laughs> oh, well, uh, oh, these are for the wheel, too. Whop, whop. <laughs> I can do that one by myself. <laughs> whop, whop. I'm liking the ages, but they're all wrong. I'm not remember, yeah, yeah, that's uh, the, the Charlie Brown's. Kayla. No, not even that. Kayla. 
24 then. Kayla, can you do no, that? Yeah, you're not here for the reason. Can you do Charlie Brown's parents? Um, Me? Oh, uh, no. And like, isn't that the same as how his birds sounded? Can, like, can you, you anybody can call, right? if anybody calls in it's and can right. do Charlie Brown's yeah, parents, okay. <laughs> I'll give you a two gram disposable right fucking now. Shut up, Meg. I, I like I'm okay. talking about Charlie Brown's teacher. <laughs> Come on. Hey, look at there. Feely's like future it. sells out. Oh, there's a, that, the truth. <laughs> uh, so, so we are going to talk about our new sales rep? 493, yeah. We have a few. Don't talk while I'm talking. What the hell? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, okay. we're doing a show here. Yeah, we're doing <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. We're not the comment stuff yet. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, so we honest. got Phyllis is a Phyllis is a new rep. He's in Georgia. Oh, someone wants no Barry. Oh no. It's always Barry. Always fucking Barry. <coughs> One sec, we got two people with us. Oh, good doom. Okay, what do we got? And now. welcome to the show. All right, here, give me, give me. <coughs> I'm in charge here. Okay. <laughs> Now, what you're going to do, no, no, you just don't want, want, want me. That's not how it fucking works here on your toy lot, okay? Start a talk show. One of you is fucking Charlie Brown, and one of you is a teacher, okay? <laughs> okay. So that means if you're Charlie Brown, you got to say something fucking Charlie would say, and then if you're the teacher, you'd say what he heard, okay? Who wants to be Charlie? I want Barry to be Charlie. He's a consistent player here at Utoy Live, and I'm going to give him the tough job of asking his teacher a question. And put the fucking bong down, Barry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's fucking sucking on that thing while I'm talking to him. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> oh, my contest was too hard. Hey, you guys there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you trying to think of what Charlie Brown's going to say or what the teacher's going to say? <laughs> I wouldn't even have my own answer for that. Hello? Hello? I think they're in the middle of something uh, there. I, <laughs> All right. I have my answer because you, you posed that question. My what would Charlie Brown say? I would say, hey, Susie, can you hold that football there? <laughs> Sorry, you guys. But that's the only thing I know from Charlie Brown. Not sure what happened there. <laughs> Odd moment. Usually, it would be... Charlie Brown go to class, or he go home, and and he knew he did something wrong, right? Like and you hear, wah, 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 wah. no, you you'd hear that first, and then Charlie would say, "But you know, she pulled the football out, or blah blah blah, right?" Right. Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Exactly. Right, this is a hard one, man. Yeah, it wasn't no, easy. You know, want some like fucking it. free? When I'm high off my goddamn <laughs> pina colada. Did you put on the spot or were you planning for that one? No, I no, no Listen, dude, I don't okay. plan much, okay? The only thing I plan is just making shit yeah. that's yeah. really tasty that you fuckers will buy and you tell your friends and they'll buy, right? That's all we're going to do. We're going to have fun. And if you want to argue and shit, just hang up now. I feel at least a little bad that I didn't remember <laughs> that Charlie Brown's catchphrase was good grief. Mm. Yeah. Good grief. I'm already on the wheel. You hung up, Barry. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Something happened. So it goes, good grief. I'll never get a And I didn't realize I was making a contest. And, oh, didn't, and what, How old are you? I wonder how Snoopy's doing. How the fuck are uh, old are you? <laughs> Corey, Corey. How old are you? So, uh... I think, uh, what's his name got it right? Who? Um, Bucket says 11 in a magician years. I like that. 77? <laughs> I like that too. No, I'm 29. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, born in 93. I was going to ask you the math of 90, but. So he's like Cameron's age. Oh, yeah, Cameron's 92. Yeah. All right, so 29 was Joseph Ruckelhoff. I think he's on the he board. He's on the board. All right. Okay. So now, how old is Kayla? <laughs> that we, since. Yeah. Oh, I think we already That's mentioned. That's a recap. Oh, God, I'm scared. That's a recap. 1996? <clears throat> Basically. Yeah. Okay. Well, Basically, she's, she's 16. More or less. She's 16 well, days you're off. you're already giving me it away. That's fine. She's 16 days off, 96. So you're only 16 days off. Do you That's there only, you go. That's a better clue. Yeah, yeah. Because you're it's 5%. Not, like, you think a second. Of a year Don't less. say, like, I could say it. <laughs> All right. Give me some shit to talk. Whoa, give, give some... whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did they just put my birthday oh, up 23. That's, 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 my, that's my 26. Why do they know 
know your birthday, though. No, no, June 8th, 93. But why do they know your birthday? I don't know. Joseph, Joseph worked at the circus birthday. when he was a clown. No, how does Joseph know my birthday to <laughs> Not you, Joseph. No. Rekulhoff. Yeah, right. No, I... Uh, with a guy with a name like Rekulhoff. I feel old too, Karen. I feel dead. So oh, you feel old? I oh, am I old. Oh, it's 21 again. Yeehaw! Where's our yeehaw one? I don't have my yeehaw one. I don't have that one. God damn it. I'll have to get that back to you. I was used to it being Karen, available. Karen, you're younger than me. Everybody on this show, everybody that uses my products, basically, is fucking younger than me. I'm the oldest guy in the room. Or in okay. the online. <laughs> is anybody older than me? How old am I? Okay, let's ask that. All right. Yeah. Get on the wheel. He's the reverse. And how much Karen. do I weigh? <laughs> yeah, how much you how weigh? Big, how big are my biases? Your... Dad, did you weigh yourself recently? Yeah, I did. I went to the doctor you're, yesterday. You're, 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 Easy trigger. <laughs> you know, you guess the weight, right. sweetie pie. Speaking of alcohol. Smarty boots. I'm going to guess the year you were born. Guess the weight. <laughs> within two, guess the weight, Within two years. Wow, I don't even know. I, I got to say, like, two... <laughs> you know the size of my biceps? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is... Billy D. Right Billy now. D got the age. Bill D. Now, how big are my biceps? So were you born in the fifties? Well, you do the math. Please. I know I didn't want to. <laughs> oh yeah, like maybe on the fifty nine seventies. So. December eleventh, nineteen fifty nine. Sagittarius, baby. My daughter's Sag, and you know what that means we're fucked up. Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucked up at the end of the year every year. <laughs> I remember from the time I was sixteen to to twenty one. Every fucking holiday, I'd get arrested. Same. Right before. Me too. Right before yeah. Thanksgiving. Yep. Thanksgiving. Uh, get pulled over. Uh, go to jail. Oh, uh, that brain ain't Me too. Well. I, had, I had more brown bag lunch uh, Christmases. You know what those are? Yeah, because I did eight of them myself. You did eight? I did I eight of them myself. I had a bad habit around Christmas about wanting to be a criminal. No, obviously, you weren't a very good one because you didn't get no fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a very good lawyer. <laughs> oh yeah, we need more contestants. Did anyone guess my age? Yep. Somebody uh, was uh, going Billy for your biceps. Get Billy Dean. Got Billy Dean. Right. I, I think they were <coughs> two ten. Not Jessica. quite. Uh, <coughs> currently, I'm two eighteen. I'm usually two o five. When I was in my prime. <laughs> I don't know what that means when you're your prime. Is it your prime and mentally? I was 21. No, I mean, there's a lot of primes. Okay? Yeah, there's prime 25. Oh, no, there's prime number five. When you're five, you're fucking prime. You're, That's you're ready for life, man. You're running around. Your head's bonding into everything. I'm, I'm here. Yeah, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> when I was five, I didn't know I had arms till I was seven years old. I ran in there. I'm bang, here he come. Do, 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 do. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Ow, 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 ow. I won't do that again. Do, do, do. Oh, oh, Why again. did you ah. know you had arms? Because I ran into everything with my head. <laughs> I tried, but I still knew I had arms. Well, well I'm just telling you, so that's me. That's me at five. Okay, then you go to 12, and you get this little penis going on. Whoa, what the fuck are you? Yeah, what's happening? Uh, from then until 18, it's all about... <laughs> you feel like a little dog humping on legs and shit. Yeah, Man, in your twenties, that's when everything you did in your teens comes back to haunt you. That's true. <laughs> All the habits you made, everything you did now in your twenties. Here we go. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> then the thirties come around. That's Joe. That's Corey. What's going on right now? This is a little personal. Uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> so the, anyway, All right, give me so, another. Okay, give me another yeah, thing. All right. Where's the, you made a list of things. We got to get yeah. another guess. Now, I'm not 240, bitch. That's you. All right. Tom is our new salesman, too. I forgot about Tom. Tom Smotherland. He's been using my products over two years now. And now he's selling that shit. He makes 100 phone calls a day. I love Tom already just because most salespeople don't know. You're supposed to make phone calls. Yo, whoa, How, can someone hide that? What? That comment. That's my, that's my house and address. Can someone like have that <laughs> moderator? What do you Why mean? Song you that's my that's my exact address. Why would somebody can you, say that? It's okay. He he said he's a magician, but he's not. <laughs> he got he's the same guy that had Who my is birthday. This guy? Uh, that's Joe Rickloff. Who the fuck? I guess he lives by me, but he literally named my address. He didn't have to. 
type of <laughs> I guess he's trying to magician. I guess take him. I'm going yeah. over there in a little bit. <laughs> anyway. So let's all meet at, what's that address, Joe? Uh, His parents it? own shotguns, though. I don't know if I'd go over there. So uh, what is the fastest car in the world? What is it? Is that a question, Joe? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's for the wheel. We need more people. It's all right, Joe. We're just fucking with you, too. I've got one more trivia question after this. Hey, it's a one at a time, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You don't have to announce your intentions <laughs> here. You get your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kayla's smudged out by light. There you go. She's light and dark. She's like the moon. Dark side of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes our little crew likes uh, stories. So, you know, that's what we tell stories once in a while. Yeah. So what's the fastest fucking car? And it ain't a Tesla Plaid. I'll tell you that. Wow. David Manning with the quick. Oh, David! Quick. <laughs> man, that bitch that knows how. He's Google fast, man. That fucker Google fast. He's trivia ready. Trivia ready, baby. Put him on the wheel, Joe. <laughs> so uh, Joseph was blind. He just googled googled it. Which so if you there. guys sorry. like pina coladas, <laughs> oh, that's okay, bro. I'm sorry, I interrupted you this time. I, I was, I was, I felt that. Do you imagine how I felt when I saw my birthday and my address? But I remember, I'm on Google. You can just Google me. Here's what happens when you give a redhead magician. Cannabis product. It's he only took two sips. He, he, he drinks alcohol because he knows how to manage that. He don't know what this shit's I, I know pina coladas. And he goes out. They it's right yeah, hands. that's a perfect example of how, you know, the law and how it's socially acceptable to drink. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. If it was acceptable to be high and that was like the law, then like probably more people would just Exactly. Like, and so he probably went back and in my car when he left it last time. But anyway, that's a joke. He's talking to Joe, right? He's thinking, did I? No, not me. I, 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 like, like, hey, you like my dispenser? Well, listen. <laughs> if you order tonight, if you're just tuning in, because people stay here for 16 minutes even, that's it. Then they fucking bail. Okay, we've had 130 people already tonight. 16 minutes, I'm out of here. So when, when you're here, we want to remind you, if you're a VIP, free strawberry pina coladas hell yeah all you gotta do is buy some now you want to buy some cheap and get a free pina colada where do you go you go to the sales uh where the fuck do you go joe right live down sales, there it's on the shop all the way down live sales and bullshit boom oh, right on. there you're gonna get reserve cards cheaper than ever because we're going to disposables like this here i'm gonna do my pitch where's the goddamn there it is right there sorry <laughs> i thought you had it so i didn't reach yeah it. no <laughs> <laughs> i'm sailing now baby right there these are the upgrade to this up to this so you get these cheap for a little while then you're gonna buy these for more money okay so do you want to spend less and get it now, or you want to spend more and get it later? What do you want? Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, let's I see. got another one. Okay. How many, <laughs> how many people are in the wheel? <sighs> how many people are in the wheel? Oh, there goes Kayla sneaking out. But this one might get some mixed answers. So. Hey, Kayla. Yeah. I forgot it's right here. What? Of your drink. Oh, where's that phone? Oh, it's right here, too. This guy's talking about. Yeah. Uh, for chat. <laughs> Guys, I want to know as of okay, 2022. Okay. What is the most expensive car in the world? Hmm. I'd say uh, Bugatti and Mugatti. This isn't my phone. I think it's a spaceship car. And I used to think it was this a Rolls Royce. This is my phone. Well, the most expensive car in the world, I thought it was about two and a half million. <laughs> oh, no, it's far beyond that. Oh, God, we're almost done with the show. How many no! people are on the wheel? Not enough. That's why I'm trying for more questions. Oh, okay. Real fast. What's my middle name? <laughs> oh, that's hard. One. What is the most expensive oh, do is go on. in the world? Oh, I guess the letter starts with 2022. What is it Hey, everybody, bobblehead, ready? Wait, next time we do it. Let's get it. You can buy uh, 20 Lamborghinis for the cost of this car. If they're, well, I think they're $2 million a piece. Yeah. Okay, next time. Hey, next time, everybody do bobbleheads, okay? I want to see it. Not yet, not yet. Joseph, someone guess Joseph. Joseph. Right. I'm the most expensive car. Joseph, 
uh, drives. No, no, he's talking about that. Rolls Royce boat. Oh, I thought your middle name. Sorry. A uh, good oh. guess. <laughs> good oh. guess, but it's not the number Jason. one. Jason. Sorry. There we go. Buckets. 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 Sixty-three for our G fifty GTO. Seventy Whoa, million dollars. Wow. Okay. Here's another one real fast. Where's that little cartoon list you had? Didn't we have a list? I thought you had a list, Joe. I do. Now, if you see, uh, if you go snooping around online to Leafly and to Buds and uh, uh, Kushcon or Kush.com, you're going to see our, our mug shots out there now, right, Joe? That's right. They're going to say, hey, man, push this button. And buy some of their shit. Bruce is trying to build a house. He ain't got no fucking money. I just landscaped this house. It's done. Oh, yeah. Now, I mean, it, is still off we got to pick a color now, Kayla. You got to help me pick a color. <coughs> what are you, why are you retract them? Because uh, he won already. Oh, but they already know the answer now. Yeah. Okay, you leave it. Well, yeah. he's just playing. No, you don't give him a spot. You just let him get an answer, and then we do another one. All right. Remember the, the old rules? That's what I was going with. And we keep getting new me. rules. <laughs> and everybody walks rule. away during the show. Oh, no, it's got to get some liquids. It's got to Yeah, fucking <laughs> guy's got a 16 ounce, a 32 ounce fucking vodka phone, slushy, and he can't get through the show. Where's my phone, guys? Is your phone dead? I just wanted to reply to one of the commenters, maybe. Oh. No, I was just wondering where it was. I was just going to go grab it. I handed it to you, and then you came. That wasn't my phone. Is that yours? Oh, I don't know where your phone is. Yeah, that's why I got up. That's all. (laughs) We lost our phone. So I've got got a question that I don't know that many people will know the answer to, but maybe you might right off the top of your head. That is smooth. What is the most expensive diamond cut? Hmm. What is the most expensive diamond cut? Oh. We have three minutes to get five people on the wheel. Hey, Bobblehead! God, y'all missed your cue. Pay attention. God damn it. You know, when you don't practice and you just kind of wing it. Yeah, yeah. So here, so here Corey says, Hey, Bruce, I'll come over and collaborate Monday. So we'd be on time for Wednesday. Come Monday. Oh, dude, I'm hung over from the fucking three-day event I just did this weekend. So maybe I'll come tomorrow. Maybe I'll come tomorrow. And then the next one. Okay, so... Oh, okay. See, I didn't even know but about it's that. my show. But that's the thing. <laughs> Try like, I would have bought I can do it by myself. But anyway, we love you guys. We're happy you're here. Yeah, let's have some fun. Lesson <laughs> learned. Lesson learned. <laughs> uh, they didn't want to keep that one going, so. What all right. Uh, well, they got the answer right, but both people who got the answer right. Oh, that's all right. Next one. Yep. So let me think of something. What is it? Corey, what was yours? Oh, whose birthday was it on July 29th? This year. Meet George Jetson. Oh, you get it. <laughs> his boy, Elroy. I guess you get to go with the real team. <laughs> his dog. What's his fucking dog's name? Pluto. Um, his dog. Is it Pluto? That's the question. His What's dog. George Jetson's dog's Damn. name? I ruined it, I think, didn't I? You fucked it up. <laughs> what about the robot's name? That's uh, their, their housekeeper. Yeah, what's her name? That's that's not the question. But the question I is, fucking asked the question. <laughs> his dog. What is it? His dog. Dog. What? I was wrong. I was so his close. His dog, though. Elroy. That's his oh. boy. His boy, Elroy. Michael Jones. Astro. <laughs> Michael Jones. Michael man. Jones. Now, Mike, is on you are. Uh, he, he, he's in the yeah. gang. And you shouldn't argue with us he online, brother. And We're your friends. We take care of you. Dog, All right? Be dog, nice. Man. All right. Uh, next one. So, what was the housekeeper's name on George Jetson? What school? No. Hey, yeah, then we'll do what school he went to. How's that, Cam? Yeah. Rosie. Oh, Rosie. Is that, no, is that his wife's name? Yeah. What's his wife's name, name then? That one to Karen. It goes... Uh, meet oh, George on. Jetson, his wife. And they got it. Yeah. What is it? Rosie? Rosie? No, oh, that's oh, a robot. It's, it's, hold on. <laughs> hey, if someone can sing this song out loud, you get to go on the wheel. <laughs> I can I sing it. Remember. Why the fuck are I on the goddamn go ahead, wheel? Dad. I don't know the song. Take right. it away. Right. Oh, see, we'll the next it. one. 
Yeah, if someone calls in and sings that song, except for Barry. So now we're on the next one. So what is the name of his wife? Jason. There we go. There's a fresh name. His wife, Jane. His wife, Jason. Oh, there it is. It's how it goes. Yeah. Meet George Jetson. Oh, yeah. His wife, Jane. Their boy, Elroy. Is that how it goes? I think, yeah, so. I think you're nailing it. Yeah. And his dog, Astro. Okay, that might have been freestyle. I don't know about that. <laughs> and their <laughs> bitch, <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> I got it. Last week. It is really I remember this one. Okay. All right. Okay, now who? Anybody get on there that's not on the wheel yet? We're just uh, I got somebody on there. Okay, um, we got we got uh, Jason up on there. Insert racist joke here. <laughs> Matt, what's racist? Jesus Christ! Not every fucking thing in the world is racist. Who is saying that? What is racist about <laughs> George Jetson? Oh, Matthew. Matthew talks about Xanax too, so he's. Oh, a his wife's on Xanax. He's <laughs> what do they call leader. Xanax? Yeah. And I See, don't that's know where she is, but. Yeah, that's a Hubble telescope. Look back in time and find George <laughs> Jetson. We're losing Bruce. Yeah, we're losing Bruce. Here I don't know. Are. I think we're getting Bruce back, but. <laughs> Okay, bucket. Guys, I want to know. Three, one, what nine. What was the name of the elementary school? Am I on the wheel, Michael? You're on the fucking wheel. Jesus God Almighty. We're just going to put Michael on there every time. We're going to have to have that problem no more. So, oh, but, oh, Mr. Bobblehead's oh, always up there. <laughs> Come on. Now, everybody pay attention. Ready? Best Bobblehead. Go. I'm the winner! I'm the winner! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So what was the name of it, Joseph? Gunn? I don't know the question. <laughs> the name of the uh, Jetsons Elroy's uh, Elroy, what school did you go to? Oh, I thought we gave up on these fuckers. This I, don't know. I thought we were trying to get more names. This actually Put right. Matthew on there, too. He got some answers. No, he didn't. He's being smart. Enough. Okay. Who's on the wheel? Show him the wheel, Joe. All right. We're running a little late today, but you know what? I had to water my grass. So there you go. We've got eight names on the wheel. Okay. Now, Joe, remember how you did last yeah, time? Yeah, I know. I really want you to do it. All right. Okay. Ready? Now, this is really special. You got to pay attention. Okay. All right. Special. All right, go, Joe. We've got Michelle Turner, Karen P. Mattel, Joseph Reckelhoff, Barry Gray, Bill D., David Manning, Jason Coronet, Michael Jones. That's it? <laughs> yes. I said hey, <laughs> Michael Jones. We, only got, we need 12 for a goddamn for prize. Of, for me to run out of breath. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. All it. right. Uh, okay. <laughs> what like color is Joe's <laughs> ball hair? <laughs> what? <laughs> we need some easy questions. That's Give him easy, easy question. That's pretty easy. Go ahead. Go I ahead. I would say... An ash brown. <laughs> ash brown. Pubic like hairs. It. Chest. No. <laughs> wait, wait. Corey, ask a legitimate, easy question. Okay. Give an easy riddle. Oh, easy riddle. And don't if hey, listen. If you don't, if you if you're on the wheel, don't answer. We gotta get. We gotta get some fresh people. names. <laughs> We're four minutes over, and I go. I turn into a pumpkin at right. quarter to eight. Okay, go ahead. Pressure. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, I gave him a beautiful walk in. <laughs> okay, I got it. Corey, an I got listen, an just, just. Whoever do it for answers me. first wins. What is Harry Potter's favorite way to go downhill? That is my question. What is Harry Potter's favorite way to go downhill? Uh, blondes. Don't answer this, please. Blondes. What's your answer, Wands? Blondes. Wands? Go down on blondes. Yeah, blonde. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gryffindor, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He goes down on blonde. He he that blonde over there. Yeah, he likes Brazilians. <laughs> Backside. He likes redheads. Let's do the thing we don't speak of in front of the mega shit. Maybe I'm getting. So Harry Potter's great. favorite way to go downhill. What's anyone's answer? Happy trail. That's a good answer. It's cute. <laughs> it's, cute. it's not the answer though. It's a decent answer. <laughs> it's a decent one. And there's actually no really right answer, but well, apparently why do you have, have a fucking riddle without a right answer? Have, what's your answer? I found it here, man. Oh, don't let me see. Oh, you did find it. Okay. But let me say it, because I say that. Yeah, 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 that's <laughs> fine. I just made sure. Well, that's that's an easy one. one. Don't say it, don't say it. it is, it's, it's, a, it's the way you say it. So, <laughs> I'm not kidding. All right, so. That's like dude. But we've said Dude this can mean so many thing. things. It's I like fuck. Fucking dude. The best words ever. But. Your buddy fucks up. 
dude. Right. Your buddy does well, dude. Your buddy trips down falls, dude. And an elephant butt hair is a dude. Dude. Just, just Did you not know that? No, no, you know, like, that's real. That's for the you gotta have the more you know sound and Sorry. link come up. The the do, 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 do. Oh, the more you know, I should get that. Yeah, down. We'll write it down. Okay, on listen. Hey, We're gonna add. Sean, help me. Who's not? Put uh, he man's get put that. Uh, let's Edward say Edward Cossack. If somebody's got it, we gotta help. You gotta help us out here. We need four people. Well, on read, the read wheel. some of the comments when Hermione is on his sled. Ow, ow, that's hot, Joseph. Is Joseph on there? Uh, yeah. and then. Someone no, we got no. We got to. They got to legitimately win, Joe. We can't just put people on there for free. All right, Jesus. Well, Christ. I, I heard you say that first. No, so Edward, you it. need to step up. You're not on the wheel. The truth flow. Okay, you're not on the wheel. I'm going to give you a real a good answer. How long does it take for a turtle to die when you put it on its back? I don't want to know. That hurts my heart. <laughs> no, they do it to tenderize the meat. You didn't know that? Oh. I caught a turtle in the. Uh, what Middle cake is a sea turtle. And what, what we did, we had a little boat. I got a picture of me with holding my turtle, if you don't fucking believe me. Corey's like, yeah, yeah, you could have fucking turtle. Yeah, sure, dude. No, I you're believe fucking, that's what hurts my heart. My like, daughter says, oh, you're so fat, man. I don't ever see you. I used to no. catch a turtle in your fat ass. Turtle and his <laughs> turtle friend's like, no, man. Just Kayla's seen the picture, so she knows I caught that fucking turtle. Anyway, you you I sit mean, on the front I mean, of a boat, you chase the turtle, a little boat, it's a 16-foot boat, and you get on the front of the boat, and the turtle swim like, what the fuck are you chasing me for, man? And you jump up, and you grab them just like this, you grab them like this, and you, and you steer them like a surfboard. They get tired, and then you bring them on shore, then you flip them over on their back for about two days. Listen, this is where you lost me, Bruce. You were surfing on a, on a, on a tortoise. You know, you have to pay attention I'm obviously <laughs> Okay. That's where you lost me. I was bleeding up until that point. No, you you hold them. Have you ever been on a little skimboard, a little wake surfboard? <laughs> yeah. Have you been in the water? Yeah. Okay. You know the ocean? Yeah. And you hold you on to a little... Sp and you Skim. Yeah. Yeah, so he's swimming. I'm holding his back. And he's trying <laughs> to... See, that's where you lost me. What do you mean? <laughs> that's just pretty simple. I grabbed the fucker and he's swimming. I held him until he's tired. Almost like you're riding a dolphin, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then he gets tired. He's like, Jesus though. Christ, this fat like, fucker on me. I can't hardly swim. Sea turtles, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They got whole shells. So then you get tired and then you just carry him on the <laughs> shore. That's it. Forgive just, me for tripping out, but I'm like imagining you riding like a dolphin, like a turtle. Yeah, no, it's a turtle. Okay, until they get tired. Then we, then we took his, uh, there's a little piece of meat in there. Yeah, and this is cool. sad, really. Yeah. They'll slay, oh, guess who it is? Jay Star. Oh. I want to see how he did on our, uh, on our, uh, remember we gave him some shit. I'm going to get to drinking some of this. That's what I'm going to Yeah, gonna do. just drink. We're, we're running late tonight. Time. Okay. What's that mate? Um, this, I lost my oh, you got my, my phone. Baby. Come on, guys. Where's that? Where's, yeah, where's, where's that babe? I don't know. You were smoking it. The my phone's gone. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you two had that last. I don't know, know where that went. I wanted to like play the comments. Let's see. Have it up on my phone. Well, it was just right here. So it's I don't not know. Good, but, I mean, you guys are smoking it. Any bait? Any <laughs> Where are you? Oh, here it is. You'd think there it'd be is. easily accessible for someone like that. Yeah, you you'd think like... when you sell this shit, you'd think you'd have <laughs> some right here, right next to it's us. It's still hard to get, though. If you love pina coladas, then buy some shit and get one for free. Who was the guy that called in earlier and sang the song? That was Barry Bond oh. Gary. Thank you, still Barry, for that. That was yeah. great. Thank you, well, Mr. Barry Bond. Barry Bond. So, um, whoop. <laughs> Charlie Brown's parents. Whoop, 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 whoop. It wasn't exactly like that. It was, it was like, it was like that, yeah. Right. Right? right? And that that, that like, meant, whoa. Charlie, you little shit, you're grounded. You're grounded. <laughs> and he was like, oh, good grief. Basically, like when a teacher starts talking. <laughs> okay. Quick and easy. Quick and easy question. All right, hold on. Quick and easy. We're you gonna like get magic. Someone say yes, and you you, you win so, my vote. So now like everybody's got my wheel. <laughs> everybody's got to help us out. How many legs does a spider have? Oh, there you go. I swear. How many legs does a spider have? Chat. Follow that. Simultaneous. It's a 22 second bobblehead. 22 second bobblehead. Buckets. 
It's kind of funny. I was like, don't blame me. I'm the magician, but I didn't make it disappear. <laughs> Yeah, that's there what Edward said. Joseph the on there? I yeah. felt everyone thinking that was me. Now, I just joking. asked you guys. I just asked you. <laughs> We're trying to get four, all three of them are already on. Four more new people. <laughs> all three of them. I'm so happy you guys are so on top of it. I really am. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. I got it. I got it. But you're holding the game up. <laughs> we need people that. There's Edward. <laughs> Fucking throw that word on No, we can't. That's illegal. All right, next question. All right. I got one. Oh, put some pictures up. Put the ugly pictures up. Oh. Watch this, you guys. You guys fucking think you're smart. You can't Google this shit. We'll there be, we go. We'll be here to midnight, <laughs> goddammit. Until I get 13 people, <laughs> nothing. Got it. Are you Donald Duck now, then? <laughs> Can you do Donald Duck? <laughs> Something more like Popeye. Let me see. Especially those, <laughs> those guns you got, that's it definitely is. Popeye. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see your guns. Oh, uh, no, it's uh, behind the sleeves. You got to no. subscribe to my OnlyFans. He, he, he's, got a, he's got a slingshot. Or he's I, I got take a my shot little bow and arrow. Mine are all feet. <laughs> no, don't. Uh, we're having fun, you guys. We don't mean to scold you, but we are trying to get uh, the right amount of people so we can give one. What are we giving away tonight? A two gram uh, disposable. has a shot glass. And yep. a two gram disposable. And a um, uh, pina colada, maybe. And a pina colada. Yeah, fucking good prize tonight, baby. Good prize. I've got one more trick. Um, but I'm also uh, high, so don't. Well, don't, yeah, okay. Don't encourage me. That's a great idea. Here's what we're going to do we're going to make Corey and Kayla do it. Get. Well, no, I have to do it on this camera. Why? It's more of a close-up scene. You can't get close to your camera. No, this it'll be very quick. Don't worry. Oh, okay. oh, oh. so when you do buy you want the camera or when, no, no, just no. When you camera. buy a uh, uh, you toy a disposable, there's a few ways you can get rid of it. Okay. Sweet. See, that's magic. That's my magic. <laughs> it was red like his jacket. He gave me a black one. Magic. See, that? So, See, as you guys know, I would never actually light up a cigarette in your house. I never would. And that's the thing is, like, if you watch the cameras, you'll I see. I my sound. Oh shit, it's backwards. Hold on. All right. <laughs> yeah, you know? it, was, it was upside down. It's a little high, you know. So if you notice, oh shit, it's back up. There we go. Should, it should be good. Hey man. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to put it in like this. Ready? Here we go. One, two. Four. God damn it. That's cool shit. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I don't, I got that problem with my joint too. I go, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Oh man. I lost it. Hang on. I, I dropped I really did drop it on the floor. So I can get this looking good. Here. Magic man. Hey. <laughs> Get my joint back in my hand. Okay, watch. Watch his magic. Drop the floor. <laughs> I found another one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Magic here. Uh, that was all right. I'll get the toy a lot. Was, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, no, where were we? Giving away stuff, I think. Oh, you're going to do a magic trick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I thought that was just a, <laughs> a hard time lighting a oh, cigarette. That's quite <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> Kayla, give them a question. Ask them anything. Make it easy. Um, okay. Kurt Cobain's last bullet was a. Oh, like an opinion or a fact? No, no, a question. <laughs> a fact? So well, just fact. say like Kurt Cobain, like bullet, Kurt Cobain last name? was killed by what was caliber by bullet? By what bullet? What caliber Nobody bullet? knows what caliber bullet Kurt Cobain is. It's a shotgun. See, it's a race against Joe against the viewers. And he's got like a five second. Oh, that might have given the okay, question. Can I ask a different question? Sure, you pick one. That was one I picked. No, I like that one. Okay, what caliber was it? Joe, need your help here. Joe types faster than I pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. My dad, when he went to the military, he was such a pussy. Yo, the chat beat you, I think. Nine millimeter. But you got to remember, that's also the guy that pulled up my address and my birthday. That guy knows some gauge. internet stuff. What was it? I thought it was a 12 gauge. Shotgun? Yep, shotgun. Put Sean on the wheel. Yeah. There we go. Sean's on the wheel. Buckshot. Oh, man, that list. would suck. All right, Kaylee, you ask a die. simple, easy musical trivia question. Uh, I don't 
Um, Jesus Christ. I don't really memorize facts about music trivia. I can just uh, you can ask it, yeah. Yeah. So just, uh, yeah, ask a question. Well, you don't know. What color what, are what? Madonna's butt it. implants? No, 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 no. I, I see where you're going with it, but that's not a <laughs> well, good Well, her children are dark, but. What I'll year hurt. did Don't Stop Believing come out? Don't. Stop. Do you know that in your head? I hear that's not ending. ending. Hold it's on to that point. feeling. All right, guys. So a, when did that song come out? I know when it came out. I, it's when I went in. <laughs> the same year it came out, I went in. What year was that? I wish there was an exact release date. But. Well, it's a year. It's the year. Yeah, it's the year. We don't. We don't need the exact. I'd never find it. I might find it. <laughs> well, that year was a, a year that for me to remember. I found it. At least a month. Okay. It's Wikipedia, but yeah. It's acceptable. All right. Well, <laughs> they only hey. Oh, see, Justin's on it. Justin's on it. There you Justin's go. pretty quick with it. Yeah, but he keeps going when he's on the wheel already. No, but he's showing how quick he is with it. I know, but now we have to answer another well, question. <laughs> so, high. we'll just have to hang out. Next question, please. All right. I got one. What concert, I know the answer already. <laughs> what concert did the lead guitarist of Red Hot Chili Pe Peckers, <laughs> yeah, he, he played naked in his pecker. Nice. Yeah, what concert nice. did Red Hot Chili Peppers guitarist play butt-ass naked? I saw Green Day's lead right singer's there. butthole. Huh? There you go. All right. I just know that, and we're going to talk about that next. Now, I don't know that Gary Joe says, that's all the entertainment I get. That's why I got to stretch it out. That's okay, buddy. Love you for it. All right. Where did, where did Red Hot Chili Pepper lead the guitar get butt-ass naked? Woodstock 99? No, someone commented. I read it off them. Yep, Woodstock 99. And it was... You guys want to hear a fun fact? All right, guys. Again, if so you're again, on the wheel. Next question. Uh, At Woodstock 99, which was the correct answer... Answered by someone who's already on the wheel and wants to enjoy this lovely entertainment for at least another <laughs> five to seven minutes. It is a good fun fact. Oh, later. The, it's cool. You got a fun fact? Yeah, dude. Are I you going to interrupt my fucking fun fact? I'm sorry. Is your fun it's fact fun better? Fact. It's a high, it's a high thing. Fun is your so, fun fact funnier than my fun fact? You said you were there with Sock 99? No. I got. I, I watched oh. the movie. Oh. <laughs> I was there. I was like, I was there too, bro. Yeah, and you keep no. tapping on the shoulder. It was kind of, you know. No, the, the fun fact is. Maybe he was, he would have been he, get, Can so you hit it over here back. next time? It's a little so, tight. It's a little tight. Two days, two days ago. You, you no, know, Joe, you, don't quit. Don't be sorry, Joe. We're having fun. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. 99. You're not the first one that picked us. Someone picked it before you. You guys know that. So when. Uh huh. So you were going to interrupt me? Oh, I wasn't even worried. Okay, okay, excuse me. Oh, it's the Corey show now. So, Corey, go ahead. <laughs> I'm high right now, yeah. Why, no? Why are you high, Corey? So, because you got vodka in your big strawberry go. daiquiri that I will be buying a lot more it's of. I'm having a great time. I think it. the thing is, is, his normal vodka is really disturbed by the pina colada. Skater Aids, yeah. That's no, actually this really is. hydrating. <laughs> I know. Uh, we know I wish. wonder if that's right. David. What is that? Oh, he yeah. Was that, was that was Flea. The, the, he's the, the lead bassist? No, well, he's just fucking out of guitar, guitar and a penis flying around. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what instrument. I watched it, but I was high when I watched it. But that was Flea. <coughs> and it's so weird, you know? It's, but yeah, they had fun. Everybody's naked. That fucking movie, if you want to watch an interesting uh, documentary, watch Woodstock 99. The same guy that put together Woodstock 69, which was a perfect success, right, did 99. He actually did one in 95. Asked Dave Manning. He gave you the facts. <laughs> in 95, but it wasn't a financial success. So in 99, they put it on again. No one really wanted to do it, but they then they did it. They cut corners, and it was a clusterfuck. Did you see what they did there? They burned the stages down. They fucking tore the place apart. It was a fucking mess. Holy crap. It was amazing. And they didn't have cell phones back then in 99, and that's only 23 years ago. So you think 23 years ago, you go to a concert, and the first day, 250,000 people in porta potties, they're overflowing, and it becomes a lake. There was so much feces in the drinking water. There was no food. It was just unbelievable. Then they lost it. 
and Limp Biscuit. Yeah. You remember him? Yeah, yeah. He got out there, they were tearing plywood walls down, and people were surfing on the stand on plywood, and he, uh, they incited like right. It was funny. Jeez. So <laughs> I guess a good question for Chad is where was Woodstock 99? Uh, New York. I was yeah. I was asking Chad. Oh. But <laughs> yeah, you asked me. Yeah, well, I was looking at you while I did that to, <laughs> to, to, to bring you hey, back. What what New York. York. Hey, this is this is be be real fun. Okay. <laughs> we need a cup really fast. Now, this is so easy that you don't have to impress me with answering first, okay? <laughs> There's a really quick answer and it's it's to assist us on the wheel of wheat, right? Who was purple? Barney or SpongeBob? I have to Google that. <laughs> Come on now. No, don't answer if you already have the wheel. Please don't answer. Please, please. Those are cat. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, purple. Definitely, yes. Right? Definitely purple. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, girls. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let chat catch up there for a moment and it's we'll play that. that. <laughs> lovely. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Wait, wait. Where's my head? Give me my head. My what? John McEnroe. Yeah. Okay. All right. Everybody, follow the head. Oh, that's right. All right, All right guys. So who is Barney? Barney. Hey, bro. I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> you already got the answer. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Give it to Ed. Give it to Ed. Ed got it. Oh. Joseph got snuffed out before Ed got it. So Ed's on the wheel. Okay. Whew. They still haven't answered the question of where Woodstock was. It's not just upstate New York. No, Joe, you just can't help it. You just can't help yourself. So um, let's see. And Michael Jones got that one, but he's on the wheel. So Yeah, okay. Mike's on the wheel. Everybody's on the wheel. We want everybody to be on the wheel. Okay, we got 23 people, 150 so far, 18.14 seconds watching. We're more interesting now than we were 20 minutes ago. Yes. <laughs> so if you're fucking watching now, don't forget, you get pina colada. If you're VIP or if you're a member and you order anything, all you got to do is say, I want my pina colada. And if you call in and sing it right now, I'll give you two, but nobody... I know you're chicken. That's then, the exact same color as... Um... Then we have strawberry daggers. They're not ready yet, but you can have one of those. Now, are you able to disclose the price of those yet? Or is it on the website? They're about the same. 12, 15 bucks. Something like nice. That. Yeah. All right, guys. What is the name of the cartoon show that had three boys with the same first name? It was throughout the 90s and 2000s. Fat Albert! It wasn't. It wasn't. Is it a cartoon? It was a cartoon. It was uh, a lot of people's favorite show. Ed and Eddie. Damn. Nice. Did nice. I do it? Yeah, oh, no, Ed and Eddie. <laughs> no, no, that was good. That's so good. Though, Take that, chat. That was my goal. It's our <laughs> turn to win. <laughs> put Kayla on the wheel. Put her on the wheel, wheel. Put her, put her the wheel <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> if you won't help me, I'll help myself. Yes, I'm starving, guys. Come on, mm. let's give me fed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Um, there is a food eating contest that happens quite often. What is the first one that comes to my mind? Now we're getting sorry ass here. This is Let, I'm going to take over here. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, if I'm going to type it. something. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Type in. <laughs> the easiest trivia for America. Dummies. For dummies, yeah, for dummies. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, these are... Uh, that's my question. What is the color of an emerald? All right, that's a good one. What is the color of an emerald? Now, if you answered before and you want to end this show... Green! Triz got my answer. <laughs> Hot dog. Hot dog. All right, there. put Trizzle on there. <laughs> Tris damn. got it. Tris got a nasty ass fucking hot dog. That's where we're gonna send you if you win, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Up, oh, running your thing. Now, what was my next question? I had one already. Uh, it was. Yeah. What color? Yeah. Is what an is emerald? the color of an emerald? We're getting close, right. baby. We're getting close. I'd say emerald. it's emerald. I think it's red. Jade. 
Green. Red. Trizzle. Red. What Trizzle. Are you I'm just. Right I'm now? baiting them. I'm baiting them. What's going on right, right. now? All right. We skip. We skip. Uh, what? If you freeze Jane, water, Jane. what do you? <laughs> hey, how about how about wrong answers only? You ask a question like yes. <laughs> wrong answers only. Stuff you well, can Google like you have to make up the wrong bad. answer. Listen, that one's so stupid I can't even ask it. Yeah. All right. Um, Jack and Jill went up the hill, and Jack came down alone. What's Jill doing? <laughs> I love that. That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. All right, I'm curious. What, let's. Jack let's and Jill went up the hill. Jack came down. What's Jill doing? What's she up to? What's Jill up to? That, you guys had that wrong. Just so you know. Oh no, it's my question. Yeah, it wasn't even the one that I had. Like, like, that's, that's my fucking question. All right. There we go. That's a decent one. My question. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Jill came down. Jack came down. Where's Jill? Where's Jill if Jack came down? 2.50 p.m. on the subway. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Jill's on parole in L.A. <laughs> Come on, I want to hear some raw answers. What is Jill fucking doing when Jack came down the hill? After the they went up the hill. What is Jill fucking doing when Jack came down the hill? After they went up the hill, what do you assume they might have done that Jill would be doing something different than Jack? It's all up to you. It's your <laughs> it's your fucking answer. All right? The best one I like is the one that's going on the wheel, whether you like it or not. All so right, take here's that. a couple of good ones. Let me see. Jack Jim went up the hill, both with a buck and a quarter. Jill came down with 250. That's the answer. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't have his credit card, so, you know, she came after him after all. All right. <laughs> Good job, Matt. Somebody thinking like me. That's what we need here. More excitement. <laughs> Fuck this magic shit. Way. <laughs> it's like, wait. It Watch this. Magic. I noise. can pull a lighter out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I can, though. I can. I know. I can. I'm, it's, it's pretty fun. I'm just teasing. I'm teasing. Okay. We got another one. Okay. Here's the next one. I kind of want to stick a lighter up my nose now. Can <laughs> <laughs> see a lighter for a sec? I'm not kidding. See? I mean, now we're having fun. Like, now we're having fun. This is me freestyling, bro. This is me like seeing how it goes. <laughs> now we're having fun. All right? There's one right around there. Did corner. they get my I last question, Joe? Okay, what? Did they get my last one? Jack and Jill. You got Matt and Murphy. I, I okay? did. I got it. All yeah. right. Hickory Dickory Dock. Um, finish that shit. And that's by Andrew Dice Clay. Hickory Dickory Dock. What's the last word to that rhyme? Shit's poetic as fuck. Hickory Dickory Dock. Andrew Dice Clay. Oh, there has to finish it. That was Edgar Allan Poe. Do you know the end of it? Do you know who Andrew Dice Clay is? I don't. If he wrote that, then I guess do I do. Do you know who Andrew Dice Clay is, Corey? Ooh, I'd say uh, I've heard it. He's an old school comedian. All right. Okay, so if, and I'll get, if, pull up, pull him up, Andrew, and put a picture. And wait, what's the whole thing? Uh, Andrew Dice Clay. Okay, all right. This is old school. This is old school, baby. Oh, there's a whole thing there. It's 18 yeah. seconds. Yeah, fucking play it. I don't want to get our audio. No, no. Out. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll tell the joke. Right, Dice Man, waiting for Jack. Somebody answer this question. Hickory dickory dock. And then, how about you suck my cock? <laughs> <laughs> Jack and, or no, it's uh, the next, <laughs> pull, pull up the jokes, okay? Is that how it goes? Uh, let's, let's Hickory dickory dock in English. <laughs> the mouse ran up the clock. There's so many. The animals. clock struck 12 and the mouse was dead. <laughs> Is that how it goes? It goes Close. <laughs> so hickory dickory dock. <laughs> some chick's been sucking my cock. Clock stuck true. Uh, clock struck two. Dropped my goo. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think that comedian would make it today? <laughs> Dump the bitch down the next. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're from today. Hickory dickory dock. All right. So that was that. <laughs> I just remembered it. I just remember. So, Andrew Dice Clay also played the dad in The Star is Born. Oh, wow. That's pretty interesting. Huh. 
I didn't watch right. that. <laughs> Run the wheel, Joe. What's the wheel look like? All right. We've got I 13 people. 13. Uh, that's, that's not bad. Yeah, one more, and we're spinning the wheel. Am I going to list them off right now, or am I... Come involved? on, dude. Do, 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 do that. I want to get that on my Snapchat. <laughs> okay, ready? All right. Hold on. We're going to share. This is Joe running down the winners fast as he can. Fast as he can. Ready, right, Joe. Ready. We've got... Michelle Turner, Karen Pay Patel, Joseph Reckle, Hot, Barry Gray, Bill D, David Manny, Jason McCornett, Michael Jones, Sean Ryder, Edward Cusick, Kay Kayla Trizzle, Dog, Matthew Murphy. Woo, 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 woo. woo. Okay. Can that you do that, Kayla? Faster. Kayla, you try. <laughs> Want to try, um, Kayla? Mm-mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Hell no, Daddy. I got my mouth full of something. Mm -hmm. Do you got uh, happen to have a Reese's bar, Kayla? A Reese's oh, cup? Yeah. There's, did you eat one? Not it's one. Yet. Go grab it. It's on my yeah. front table. Let's eat it and show oh, them what okay. it looks like inside. If you've not had Bruce's damn hard lemonade, you're fucking missing out. If you ain't had a Reefy's chocolate not. bar, you're missing out. Oh. If you haven't had, well, nobody's had them yet. We had them first. It's <laughs> up fucking main. And so you're missing yeah, out. So we had <laughs> strawberry fucking daiquiris. Oh, that's the empty one. All right, here's a full one. This could be yours for free. All you gotta do is order some of your VIP. You get one for free. And Reese's tough. Oh, Reese's aren't they neat? Package. Me and Joe designed them. Oh, Joe yeah. says, Bruce, are we gonna get in trouble for making it look like a Reese's pack? And I said. I don't no, care. <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> you're no, right. Yeah. It would be really cool if Mars got just a little man. Yeah, just call me up and say, hey, fat boy, why are you using my Reese's lookalike package, boy? I say, it doesn't say Reese's or Reefies, you dumbass. And then we say, do you want to make them for us? <laughs> you want to make more money on my shit? They taste better. Mars. Wait, right. what? Mars candy, baby. Okay, I think I've smoked two joints. I drank a uh, strawberry daiquiri. We have had fun with Corey and uh, Kayla took up the show while I was watering my ass. Grass. <laughs> Grassy ass. Grass smelling ass. My ass smells like fresh cut grass. I swear. You want to kiss it? I miss Venus. Give me a call. What? <coughs> I miss Venus. Yeah, our cat. I miss Venus. We have a boy cat. The I first boy cat we had a long time. He's so sweet. And all He's our so other sweet. cats were girls, so we... You know, they're pussies. They're cats and No, pussies. but we've named, one was named Dick. Yeah, so but he was a girl, naturally, though. naturally, we yeah. should just name, no, it was a boy, obviously. Oh, oh I didn't know he's a boy. No, so this did. one we just call it's penis a, now instead anyway, of Anyway, we call pussy. him penis because we've had okay. dicks, so now we're penis. <laughs> I've, I've not had any dicks. I've seen them, but I've not had one. Anyway, he says this so naturally, and every time he kills me, he's like, where's penis? I so tonight, we're giving away, what, Kayla? I don't know. <laughs> That's Thanks for right. paying attention. Corey, what do we give away? I've got a Van Val Magic shot of magic glass with your name on it. Oh, I thought you gave that to me, you fucking guy. I got, I got three of them. So you I gave it away. You <laughs> get, give me a fucking glass. And you know what? We're not going to wash it. You can have it dirty. <laughs> Van Van, stinky ass it. glass. That's not true. Can't you get not <laughs> Ow. Smell like pina colada. I'm giving that for myself. I want urine. Get... Urine and pina colada. <laughs> That's what that smells like. I think I'm going to stick with my fucking... <laughs> you know, we're not... <laughs> I think I can make us a lot of money with that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. With my anus? Oh, God, no. No, no there's Is nothing... Is that where you get the strawberry daiquiri from? <laughs> 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 that that hey, you sipped on it, you know? You sipped on it. <laughs> All right, so it's time to spin the wheel of weed. I've had fun tonight. I guess I got a little break and... Out there in the fresh air, watching the sunset, watering my fresh grass. Yeah, real fun. So, we're giving away a two gram disposable. Uh, um, it was a strawberry daiquiri, I right. mean, a strawberry pina colada, right? And a shot glass. And I think that was it. Was no. it? No, we're doing a two gram too. Okay, and a two gram. Yes, yeah, it's a big deal, Joe. All right. This is our third show with me, Corey, Kayla, and Joe. Me, Corey, Kayla, Joe, yeah, four, four people. We've seen that three people uh, fit in the screen better, but when somebody sucks, you know, you four is better. In case one guy has a bad day, you know, it makes the other one look better. What do you yeah, think? like my hair was not doing it today. So we're going to have uh, Michelle Turner's uh, volunteering breast milk for our next giveaway. Excellent. Yeah. So if you, if you don't have any baby formula... 
and you'd want some fresh squeezed um, breast milk. I Michelle, donate. I just don't know how she does it because she's like 60 years old. She don't have any fresh kids. So. I don't know. It took me at least a year to learn. Yeah, I guess when you shake that booby <laughs> enough. She gets it from India. Oh, oh, she imports. We ship it in. She imports. Boom. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. You gotta be smart. <laughs> oh, let's she spin this damn wheel. I got That's me funny. some imported fresh milk. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> imported breast milk is what you're winning. Yeah, this one. So Shell's gonna. Whoa, free booby milk. <laughs> I just can't tell if you guys are serious or not. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah Billy D, he missed his mama's boobs because his mom dropped him at the orphanage when he's born. He will love the recreation of his youth. Yep, this is free. Be his breast milk. Free breast milk for right Billy D. That's a little bloody. It's, it's a little red, but you know, how would you know when you didn't get it in, <laughs> in the red. beginning? You don't know what color boob milk is. It should be yellow. Is. I don't remember. You know what? <laughs> no. Do any of you remember the taste of breast milk? Yeah, it's no. delicious. Yeah, I, I do. Had some in my I do. I saw on the plane last week. And I, <laughs> my mom. I got it when she like went. When she when she went to the bathroom. No, I just took the. See, I will never taste. remember. It's like syrup. I will never it's remember like the taste a watered down syrup. Would it be a thing I'd recognize it if I was slipped breast milk instead of normal milk? Like, would, it, would it be a thing I'd notice? Don't hide his nipple would joke. <laughs> no. You can milk Maybe anything not. with nipples. Thank you, Matt. I agree with that. Yeah, but I seen you try to milk yourself, and it mean? didn't go well. No, that's not true at all. I got a little no, suction Matt device. Yeah. That's not true at all, though. So is Bill D <laughs> still Matthew here? Murphy, oh, sounds Matt delicious. Matthews. Billy D, you're you the big fucking here. winner, and we appreciate y'all hanging out till eight oh seven. Eight oh fucking seven. Eight oh seven. We've been pushing you guys for two and a half hours. Yeah. All right. So make sure to kiss your wife. And not your girlfriend at the same time. Or well, if you have a girlfriend, kiss her separately. They're going to get in trouble, I think. Don't do that. Kiss your wife or your girlfriend. Hug your kid. Scratch your dog. Make sure you don't piss off your neighbor. Until pick next. your nose. You can pick your nose. Scratch you can pick your, your ass, but you can't pick and your... your ass. Hmm. And um, not I, I like, your dad. Yeah, okay. We're going to add that to the show now. So it's, All right. kiss your wife or your girlfriend. Males exist. Slap your dad. Hug your kid. Scratch your... No, that, that, you can't yeah. scratch and hug at the same you time. You scratch your ass. You got to do all that. Then first. hug your kid after you scratch your ass. Hug Give your something to smell. Kick your face. Hmm. <laughs> Be nice to your neighbors, though. And until next time, mm -hmm. peace out. Peace out. <laughs>